I never ever started on time. In the beginning. It's okay. It's okay. They I'm know. sorry, you streamers. I, they see us on time, but I never hit record on time. That's so the, the people problem. who go back and watch it, it's okay. I ne- when I do promos, sometimes I never really start from the beginning. I forget to. I know. It's, it's, a, it's all right. You know. Hey, listen, man. It's black people time. What they call it? Um, uh, P Y T. No, P C T. Like. Uh, oh yeah. No, no B. B. C P T. Color. Color people time. Yeah. P-T. Okay. <laughs> we like P W yeah. X Y. Well, listen, all the letters is flying after this weekend. You heard me. You dig? You know we got to talk about it. Listen, we we are fresh off the air from Friday. Yes. Saturday, a crazy, crazy. Oh, my Atlanta. Well, actually, it's crazy to some, and some is not. So. Some are happy. Uh, we're going to talk about sad. the Trayvon Martin um, case. Mm-hmm. We have to. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't want to drag it on. No, we don't. But we're going to talk about it. Yes, we will. Um, even though corporate... Told everybody to be silent. Yep, I still want my paycheck. So. But you know the good time show. We break all the rules. We break. We do everything rules. that we're not supposed to do. So yeah. we're going to talk about it. Oh, and I'm going to talk. And when I say talk, I'm going to talk. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, but oh, no, we, we're, gonna, we're gonna talk about that. Um, but also, it's mad as hell Monday. So, everything that you're mad about over the weekend, we're gonna talk about. Make mm-hmm, sure mm-hmm. you hit us up right now when you hear our voice 888 Yeah, and also, if you want to request a song, yes, yes. If you want to send a request, all you have to do is text 96362, keyword GTRS in the name of the song or artist. And we will try to play it for you ASA. And we got you, man. Uh, for Tusi right now, he's on the Twitter. He's Killer on the Twitter Curve board. is on the Ustream. Holler well, at our people right now. Get your request today. in, huh? She's not on the Ustream today. She said her eyes hurt from staring at the screen, so she's just listening in today. What? Yeah, I guess she's been like promoting real what? hard today. What type of... What? What? She said she's listening, but she's not watching. We don't get tired. We get energized. Energized bunny. That's when you go when you going for the top slot, you don't get tired, you get energized. Shouts out to all my listeners. Um I got a I got a few people I gotta shout out real quick. Um they was like, yo, I'm gonna listen in, man, and, and you know, blah blah blah. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I got some shout outs. They're like, yo, Jay, I'm gonna listen in, can you know I was on? <laughs> Go eat the mic like that. I'm no, just I'm just saying like that's what. Uh, that's, I'm just kidding. kidding. Um, but I want to give a shout out to my man Didi, listening in from ATL. What up, Didi? Hey, Didi. Um, How you and, doing, and, boo? and this one is going to be amazing right here. Uh oh. Um, shouts out to my boy Charles. I um, hadn't talked to him in almost like five years, and Hi, he was Charles. like, he was like, "Yo, man, I've been hearing great things about the radio show, so I'm gonna listen in and check out the show." Blah 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 blah. I was like, "All right, cool." So he's listening there. I just want to let him know, you know, what's up, man. I appreciate that tweet. Sometimes if I don't reply, that doesn't mean I didn't get your tweet. I got your tweet. But we just uh, couldn't respond. And I want to give a big shout out to my to my big man's, uh, my, my fan, Marcus Devine. Um, Marcus amazing Divine. Uh, producer. Um, you know, blessed us with ground ball. And your best. Which yes, is like and we bang them joints every favorite. day. Like, love that song. Absolutely. So, want to give a shout out to them, and as well as I want to give a shout out to Shar Grails. Now, I don't know if she's listening or not, but Shar Grails is a hell of a clothing designer. She, she is amazing. Is. That's uh, my girl. And I'm going to get her on the show sooner or later. She's going to call in and she's going to bless us and um, with her presence. Absolutely. And uh, Red, I want to give a shout out to Red. She changed her Twitter name to Red. Um, I guess maybe it's because she's a redhead, but oh. she says um, she's kicking it, you know, with your boy, and, and she's in the building. So what's up, Red? What up, though? I guess that's her Hi new there. her new Twitter profile name, Red. Uh oh, spaghettios. Yeah. Um, and fire spitter. Yeah, I was gonna. T- that's what's gonna be one of my shout outs. Samara Bubble. Yeah, that was gonna be one of mine too. Diva Spot Radio. I'm going to follow her because she retweeted one of our tweets. And you don't know who she and, is. And in this world, we network and we show love. So we work with every other radio show because we, we feel like it's enough love and enough to uh, go around for everybody. Absolutely, absolutely. So I just want to give a shout out to everybody, man, and, and thank y'all for vibing with us right now on this crazy mad as hell Monday. We got a lot to talk about. Yeah, I, and I feel and I just look icky. So excuse me, you stream, but. Yeah. Yeah, Lucas Cash said he's on his way home. Oh, that's what's where the up. hell is uh Cash's K Blazer Duval? There's not. A I know. Where have they, they been? Okay, wait. Crew. Okay, let me get my shots real quick. Okay, 
So my boy and my boy Andrew, I told him like, you getting ready? He's like, I'm always ready. And I was like, I got a meal that I'm gonna eat on Ustream because he always tells me not to eat on Ustream. <laughs> well, you should have saw her earlier the way she was scarfing down this damn piece of wasn't she patusi? Whatever. No one can people prove don't, it. People don't know how princess no go ham one on can some pizza. Prove it. Um, Shard C said that he's tuning in on Ustream. So what's up, you stream? And then my girl Shay. My girl Shay. My BFF Shay. What's up? Where Miss Prissy? Miss Prissy is actually teaching summer school. So okay. she's like at work right yeah, about now. Yeah, I mean, my days of summer school. Man. Yes, Miss Prissy is grades. at summer school. Um, but listen, we got a great show lined up, man. Uh, for those that's the first time listening to the Good Time Show on Mondays, Mad as Hell Monday, does not actually mean that you got to be angry. Yeah. It just means that certain things that ticked you off over the weekend, you want to get off your chest. You want to vent a little bit. Something it could be something that pissed you off this morning. Yeah, something that didn't go wrong. I know my Mad Monday. Really? This whole... Uh oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. You already know. And then Chris Brown is back in trouble. Well, he's not in trouble technically, but he's in the news. Uh oh. So. Chris that's, Breezy. That's part of my mad too. That's, that's part of it. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, man. Look, we got a great show lined up on this mad as hell money. Wow, it is July fifteenth. Um, it it is it is a a day in here. It is a day. It is truly a day. We got Princess Hot Topics coming up. Fatusi is getting it. He's getting it together. You got to pull up the screen. So, yeah, pull up the screen where she can see our. Yep, the The stories. There you go. Boom. (laughs) Okay. So, Chris Brown, um, he's kind of in a little bit of a jam ish with the whole hit and run case. So, I'm going to talk about that. Okay. Um, scroll down. Fatusi. Fabosi. Um, Fabosi. Mariah Carey gets glam with her arm. You know, she popped her shoulder out of place, but she still has shows to do. So we're going to talk about, you know, how she spiced it up, even though she had a broken arm. Um, LeBron James sends out his wedding invites, but there's kind of a twist to his wedding invites. So we're going to talk about that. What you mean a twist? Um, You'll hear about it. You'll hear about it. Um, oh, okay. Lamar Odom attacks paparazzi's uh, car in the wake of an alleged cheating scandal. Um, Chloe comes to his defense. I know. I know. Damn um, it. And then Matthew from Glee passed away over the weekend. So sad. So we're going to talk about that. Mm-hmm. Um, Beyonce honors Trayvon Martin um, on while she was on stage during one of her tours. And then Allen Iverson dodges jail time. Folks over 40K to his ex. See, I I, I got to speak on that. So yeah. That, that's, I'm speaking that's on that, be too, because I'm my, mad about that. My mad as hell Monday. Um, mm-hmm. But for the most part, you know, this Monday, July 15th, this has been a very neutral Monday. I think this Monday has been very breathtaking. Um, mm-hmm. I think it shocked everybody that the fact that uh, a verdict was announced on a Saturday night. Yes. So I think that kind of threw people off. For the weekend. Because everybody was expecting the verdict to be read Monday. Uh-huh. So when it happened Saturday night, it kind of like threw everybody off like, huh? Like, what? Hey. So uh, we definitely got to talk about, um, and we're going to talk about a lot of comments that people have sent in as far as they matter as hell Monday. Um and if you guys have Mad Monday comments that you want to um, share with us so we can vent for you, all you have to do is tweet them to, you know, Team J the Great or myself, underscore Princess of All, or you can email them, thegoodtimeshow at goodtimeshow.com. Absolutely. And we will read them for you. Last week, we did a couple of them. Um, people had hangovers from the 4th of July weekend. A lot of people was mad at themselves for that, so. Cheer. We get happy on Mad Monday. It's not all negative. It's not all negative. Uh, make sure you holler at the promotional Eliza Killer Curse. She's promotional on. She's on doing a thug thizzle, man. She's grinding hard. Um, Fatusi, was you shocked at the, the, the verdict? Yes. He was? Yeah. He said yes. Yeah. He said yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, I was. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe my eyes. Um, but listen. I think I shouldn't even comment because I don't. Even, I, I I might rack up tons of fines. You know, I think I'm gonna get some fines today. But, really? Uh, yeah. You gonna cuss on the air? I ain't gonna cuss. You gonna but cuss? The things that I might say might not be politically correct. Might not be already. You just <laughs> <laughs> fines for bad grammar. Isn't it? <laughs> Might not be. <laughs> they might be. This is not 1930, girl. Pick up an English book. You know what I meant. 
I was thinking and talking, but I wasn't filtering. You can't chew your gum and walk at the same time? Actually, no. I'm just kidding. Yes, wow. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yes, I can. You chew, then you walk. Can you, can you rub your belly and pat your head? I can. Time? I can rub my belly and pat my head. Booyah! Y'all didn't think I knew how to do that, though. But she got bad y'all grammar. Didn't, y'all what didn't think hell? I knew how to do that. Can. You actually can? No, you can't. No, you can't. Why do we have people in the studio rubbing their bellies and tapping their head on the good time Can show? you do it the opposite way? Can you pet your belly and rub your head? Boo, yeah, because I'm telling to like that, and I did it with my opposite hand. You really wasn't rubbing your head because if you was, your hair was sticking up. because I just messed up my hair. I'm just going to rub in the air. It's always messed up. Oh. Oh. That just hurt because I am having a bad hair day. And you no, just you're not. You're fine, like princess. Oh, he just put me on spot. I you're got fine. you for two. See, you wait till good. we get off air. No, you look good. Wait till uh, we get off shout air. Shout out to everybody that made the switch. Tell a friend to tell a friend to make to that make switch that to the Good switch. Time Show. We appreciate the love. Um, we, we We also have ticket giveaways, and the promo is going to run. Woo! We do. Got ticket pr- giveaways, and the mixtape is doing pretty well. Yes, make sure you guys go support us right now. All you have to do is go on the U Store and download the Future Volume 1 hosted by myself and my stylish swaggish co-host Jay the Great <laughs> he mm. made sure I add that in there I'm just, mm, I'm put just it saying in. <laughs> uh, and shout out to my man D Clemens he is right now featured on itsme.com yes he is he's on the front cover for the video all you guys have to do is go click on itsme.com www.itzmeh.com and watch his new video coming home and shout out to him he has a record deal that is being in the works. You should he he wanted you to announce that. Well, he said it on Twitter. Okay, bingo, cool. I mean, um, kind of, when you put it on Twitter, it's basically like no. Put it on the Twitter. World. When that thing say 187, you might want to click that just to see what's coming in. He, he's waiting because that's like loading right there. He don't know what to do, so just erase it all and like copy and paste it back. Wait, well, no, just hit refresh. Oh, oh never mind. Okay. He's, he's learning. We're, we're, we're training. For he got it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We got you, man. We got you. It is okay. You're yeah. Gonna, oh wait. Yeah. Fix that. <laughs> you gonna You got this. We got faith in you. <laughs> you dig? Shirts and keychains now at US Women Magazine, the used store. Look at Red. I know. She's promoting. You might have to give Red you a position. Go, girl. I know. Oh, make sure you guys go um, order your shirt. Stay pretty and sky grind. Because yeah. they swagged out like I gotta, that. I got to pee. <laughs> wow. Can we go to song music break? <laughs> Thanks for that information. I'm just oh, telling you. Okay, so the first one that we're getting into... Um, it's by Little Scrappy. It's actually by Little Scrappy. Um, Little Scrappy do. You know she always started to show off proper in the middle of the show. Then she get ghetto. No, I don't. Yeah, she. Yeah, I'm, she okay, I'm gonna be proper the whole entire show today. Okay. You sure? So yes. The first you, you, you're not gonna be saying no B gots and all that stuff, right? Nah, not today. Uh, uh-uh, uh-uh, not today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, so the first song, um, Princess Foreplay, is by a rapper, hip hop sensation named Little Scrappy. Sensation? He wow. She really on... went crossover. I did. He... Corporate America is going to be happy today. They're going to be like, <laughs> fin- <laughs> TNT, like, finally. They might give me a raise. We're getting the promotion um, that we wanted to get from them. They, I they, guess I'm supposed to be saying Minnie Mae, but we skipped over. They so have a show. Um, <laughs> okay. They have a show that debuts on VH1. It's called Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. He um, is also married. Well, he was engaged to Erica. This song is called. He came Trayvon. from the group Crime Mob. Yes, he came from the group Crime Mob. Um, it's called Trayvon Martin, and it describes all of the things that went on in the case and how he feels. It doesn't about describe it. all the things. Well, in the beginning, in the end, it does. In the, in the beginning. All okay, the but just listen to it. It's right. dope. I love it. Here you Look, go. man, it's the Good Time Show. Don't touch our dials. Don't go we'll nowhere. We're about to turn up. It's going to be a great show right now. Look, Scrappy. Get it. What's the name of the song? Trayvon Martin is playing. Man's mouth. As he followed in the dark a 17 year old boy who he didn't know. And excuse my language, but those were his words, not mine. Can't just kill him up for no reason to get away with it, shout him. Gotta have some justice. Whether it's street justice or legal justice. I'm Trey Born Money. I'm Trey Born Money. I'm Trey Born Money. I'm Trey Born Money. In the hood, I can walk anywhere. Oh, 
This is obnoxious, even though that is obvious How they really comply We was reaching for freedom Now we seeking out justice Then they get away with it Like they paid off the judges Mom and dad crying Sad that their son died It's killers on TV Telling these foolish lies How run it gets advertised I vomit on genocide They taking away precious lies Gotta cover my daughter's eyes And visually, repeatedly I feel like they keep beating me It's 1950 So vividly, I'm losing my identity. The world is in the crisis. Gotta walk with he who's stricken. I'm trading for a money. 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 In the hood, I can walk anywhere I want. Don't shoot. I can do anything I want. I'm trading for a money. I'm trading for a money. I'm trading for a money. In the hood, I can walk anywhere I want. Shot rose into a rainy Sunday Sanford night. Trayvon Martin, 21 days removed from his 16th year, was face down in wet grass, laboring through his final breaths. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Kimberly Cole, and you're listening to the Good Time Show with Princess of All and David. What up, everybody? It's your girl, Dharma Shaw, and I'm hanging with the Princess of All and Jay the Great on the Good Time Show. Let's get it. Princess for play, play, for play. I am a Santa. Who's probably gonna sin again? Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Things I don't understand. Sometimes I need to be alone. Trick don't kill my vibe. Trick don't kill my vibe. I can feel your energy from two planets away. I got my drink, I got my music. I will share it, but today I'm gonna Trick don't kill my vibe. Trick don't kill my vibe. Trick don't kill my vibe, Trick don't kill my vibe. Uh, look inside of my soul and you can find gold and maybe get rich. Hold up, Trinidad James in four weeks, but now my album platinum ish. So what, y'all keep the numbers. I'm more than another statistic, my n- this courtesy of Compton. Courtesy of Compton. Brooklyn go hard, motherfucker. Love me on the east like I'm Chuck D. Dominicans wish that I was born there. I'm looking to be the god MC. You look at my hat and see thorns there. I look at the game and see porn there. I'm fucking this industry hard. I'm back at this money tea bag and yo honey, you thought I was fresh off the yard. Don't practice me, tell me you're lightweight. They tell me you're nice and I'm lightweight. Go give me a knife, you're looking like steak. And when the stakes are high, I stake out for days. And when the water massage, you probably food shape. And when thirsty, never alert me. I got a B89 in a suitcase. I know you heard me, this is a burpee. Lyrical exercise. Right now, homie, I'm an extra vibe. Pipe down on the curb when you heard that I got these words to the upper echelon. That's next to my. Who's probably gonna sin again? Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Things I don't understand. Sometimes I need to be alone. 
Trick don't kill my vibe. Trick don't kill my vibe. I can feel your energy from two planets away. I got my drink, I got my music. I will share it with the day. Trick don't kill my vibe. 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 Up in the clouds, me and my spouse. Rumors on the ground, getting too loud, please turn them shit down. Can't hear myself think. Turbulent shit, almost spill my drink in the white house with a mink. Running through that like it's my house, all up in the hall like a mall. Told you my f***s, all I do is ball. No, I don't remember you, I don't intend to. Empty my memory bank, it's a million dollars in it, baby Hillary Swank. next to Hillary, smelling like tank. President's pardon, name one f*** out there harder than him. I wait. wait, 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 wait. I've been in my wave like 20 years straight. I've been on my vibe like 20 years straight. Don't fuck up my high, fuck up my high. Nights like this, I can fuck up a pie and still be straight, still be straight. Fall back, got a lot on my plate, don't waste my breath. I don't know how many moves I got left. Back to this joint. Smoking this shit like I'm trying to prove a point. I'm the highest, the highest title, numero uno. Kill my fire, that's another funeral. <laughs> Between you and me, turn the to the urinals. Pissed off. I mean, it's the this generation, my fart, lead a hood of new school. On my toes like a ballerina, who knew I'd be black swan? World in my palms, ironically, I am the glow shot as best, cause I did drop the ball. Told when I was 16, that I read a 16 to put it right on the big screen. In a paddy wagon with 16, should have been in the pen, but now my pen rang with morphine. I healed, touched down with morphines, I killed. Audio crack, cat keys to mill ticket, cardio lap, was running for dead life, but now running the map. Picture little whole me giving a f from what a f gotta say. Never be Jay, never be Nas, never be Snoop, nor Dre You ain't get killed in Vegas or in a suburban Puff that he wasn't your favorite So many washed up with detergent But I don't dry tears, I just aim at him with purpose Like blah, blah, many 14 like blah If the end of the magazine like blah And a young nigga get blah I kill them all when they tryna kill my blah I am the bad, the good guy, the last, the hood guy The last that would try to pass a good job And shine some black beetle, then I need a 10 second drum So low, see at Woodstock Future, volume one, right now in the used stores, man. So it's out, it's available. It's your boy, Meek Mill. I'm Currency. Hey, what's up, y'all? I am your girl, Candy. I'm Waka Flock Flame. What's up, this your girl, Diamond, a.k.a. Miss 32 Flavors. Hey, this is Little Bit, just trying to show some love to my good time fam for the future number one mixtape. It's dope, y'all. Let's go. I know what it is, man. It's Big Sean, good music. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your girl, the Princess of All. Make sure you guys check out the featured volume one hosted by this girl, the Princess of All, and my co-host, Jay the Great. Boy, act like you know something, man. Go on there right now. I'm on there. Click the win. One thing that has upset me today... Hey, bro, are you mad? I want you to get up right now. Get up, Stay go to your windows, open them, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell, mad as hell, mad as hell. <laughs>
Get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hit me get up First shot, come strut walking A little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious Somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the game Nope, nope, y'all can't copy up yeah. Glad, moonwalking And this here is our party My posse's been on Broadway And we did it all way Grown music I shed my skin and put my bones into everything I record to it And yeah, I'm on Let that stage light go and shine on down Got that Bob Barker suit game and Plinko in my style Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds But I do that to pass the torch and put on for my town Trust me, on my I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T shit hustling Chasing dreams since I was 14 with the four-track bussin' Halfway across that city with the back, 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 back crush it. Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing We give that to the people, spread it across the country Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing we give it to the people, spread it across the country. Here we go back, this is the moment, tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over, so we put our hands up like the ceiling can hold us. Like the ceiling can hold us. Here we go back, this is the moment, tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over, so we put our hands up like the ceiling can I'm so damn grateful. I grew up really wanna go fronts, but that's what you get when Wu Tang raised you. Y'all can't stop me. Go hard like I got an eight away in my heartbeat. And I'm eating at the beat like it gave a little speed to a great white shark on shark. We rock. Time to go off. Gone. Two says goodbye. I got a world to see. My girl, she wanna see Rome. See, so make you a believer now. Nah, I never ever did it for a throne. That validation comes from giving it back to the people now. Sing this song and it goes like Raise those hands. This is our party. We came here to live life like nobody was watching. I got my city right behind me If I fall, they got me Learn from that failure Gain humility And then we keep marching Can I said, we go back This is the moment Tonight is the night
great princess. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the Good Time Show. I am the princess of all. I'm your man, the sexy Jane the Great. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. No, he ain't. No, he ain't. I'm just kidding. I but am. We are Come back on, on the good time. Let's Whatever. keep it real. What, Let's if keep you, it real. I'm sexy. If you say so. I'm if sexy you, and swagged out. If you, if that's what you want to go on, with, I'm just telling you, you know, that's what they, that's you know, I went to go help out the senior citizen place, and they was like, "Ooh, <laughs> young man, you I'm are I'm sure sexy they were. Something. They was like, "What, seventy? Hey, hey, if you won't, but they was all on me. <laughs> I was oh. like, "Girl, you changed that to pen. This on the pop. I got yeah. you, baby. <laughs> got some applesauce and some Jello sitting over here for you. Hey, twerking for me, Grandma. Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> you changed that to pen. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, but call me grandmama. All right, so listen, we are here on the Good Time Show. You are so uh, It's mad as hell Monday. It is Mad Monday, and I We're have a lot of We're having some things. fun. Yes. First, I want, there are some first listeners that I want to okay. give shout outs to. Okay. Um, real quick, his name is um, O Clark thirty eight. What's up? He's the first listener, so welcome to the good time show. He says he's show. liking the show so far, so shout out to you for listening oh, to man, the good time show. We appreciate that right there. Matter of fact, you just became, you just moved up on the list. Yes, You're number you did. one in our bucket. What? what? You are Wait. number one. Um, then there is um, Mr. Dirty. He just tweeted us. He said, currently watching Princess of All and Jay the Great live on Ustream. So what's up? How you doing? What is, how you doing? Um, and then it is cash underscore WTM. Worth the money cash. Um, he said that he just checked out. He just tuned in to check out the Good Time Show along with Princess of All and Jay the Great. So hello to you too for listening to the Good Time Show. So appreciate thank you it, all for tuning in for I really, really appreciate time. it. Now what about Mr. Dirty? What do you mean? What about Mr. Dirty? Did you shout him out? Yeah, I just said that. Okay, all right. I'm just yeah. Because uh, I just oh. picked up mine, and so I'm looking at mine. Oh, so you're looking at your Twitter? Oh, yeah. you're looking at your Twitter. Killer Curse said that's the wait. That the only place anyone gonna call my bro a young man. <laughs> she tried to get you on the low. You know what? <laughs> Listen, let me let me explain something to my sisters. Killer Curve a little bit really don't know about Jay the Great. Okay, they don't Jay call the me the Great. Just to say I'm the great. Okay? Okay. I'm going to leave it as that before I get in okay, trouble so and mess you up say, something. So you say. Um, I'm just trying to tell you. Mr. All right. I pull, I, listen, I pull some of the baddest senior citizens and midgets in the world. Midgets? Yeah. Really? Are we are we really going down that short lane hey, today? Hey, midget women got fat booties. <laughs> oh fat too. So you ever saw a midget booty? Mm-hmm. She has one of those. That's because they wear diapers. No, that's not a pamper. That's all booty. It's all that just wrapped up in that butt, like, Pa-dow. okay. And think about it. Oh my god! And, and think so about ignorant. it. I mean, pretty much, you can, you know. That's so ignorant. Move around how you see fit, you know. You just put it on your lap. Yeah. You just carry it's like a chia pet down. I'm just joking. <laughs> I am. Jo- oh, I am joking. I'm playing. Listen. Yo, I do got love for them. All bitches, you can send all your hate mail to Jay. Oh, they know I love them. They know I love them. I go to the midget strip clubs. <laughs> Do they have little pose? Whoa, stop. Do they get, like, no, they they get busy straight up. And they, all they, ha, they, all they drinks are half off. <laughs> <laughs> you are not right. You are Listen, not right. Listen, please. Look, they know I got love for them. I'm not joking. Okay. Seriously, like we hang out a lot, you know what I'm saying? We we get it in, man. Even though their nights are shut court. Uh, they, their nights are shut Cut short. short. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> you got to get it in. Yeah, I got to get it in. There you go. Um Shard C13 on Twitter says he's listening, as well as Minsta underscore Drumline says that he's tuning in. I don't What's know. What's up? I don't know if I just said his name right, but you know that's he said. Oh, Mr. Dirty said thanks for the shout out, love. Absolutely, and hey, that's a good Twitter name, Mr. Dirty. <laughs> that is. That, hey, listen, that's something like that. like if I wasn't doing radio, that would be my Twitter name, Mr. Dirty, because it make girls be like, ooh, what are he dirty about? Because <laughs> you know, girls are that's curious so like funny. that. You know that? Like, if you say a nice name, girl's not interested in that. But if you say something like Mr. Dirty or Mr. Spank Your Ass, they'd be like, oh, <laughs> what is he about? <laughs> Spank my ass? Okay. What? And then, look, they try to act like in front of their girls. They'd be like, ugh, he never, I would never look up Mr. Spank Your Ass or Mr. Dirty. No, she then, got his tweet. And then at night, by themselves, they'd be like, so let me see what Mr. You ever did that? Like, you were looking to see what they tweet. Like, what Mr. Dirty tweeting? Is that stalkerish? Isn't that kind of like borderline stalker? It depends on what you're looking for. 
I guess that's true. Huh? That's true. Every guy on here be like, look, babe, you should follow such and such. Why? I'm just saying, follow her. Then his girl go follow her. She be like, so you gently slide down the pole, but you have to stop midair. She's like, you trying to get me to take pole dancing classes? She's like, that what? That always what? work out the best way. Remember on Kings and Queens when Carrie tried to take pole dancing classes and Doug hated it? Yeah. <laughs> the music. It's nothing worse than seeing a chick try to do pole dancing for the first time. She, she and she suck at it. She got stuck. And Doug was just looking like, uh. Yeah, that's, 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 that's rough. That's that's pretty sorry, rough. That's or so or the first time a girl really wear heels and like she not really comfortable oh, wearing them. She keeps so she pop, had pop. that she had that serious look. The whole every step she takes, she looking at you like, like well, what the <laughs> hell you looking at me for? You fall, I can't catch you. And she but, just she she got that pop pop. Her ankles she just wobbling. Bless you. Thank you. Ooh, I'm almost sneezed. Well, you did. A zoom tight. Kazoom tight. Kazoom tight. Is that, what is it? Kazoom tight? Kazoom tight? Kazoom tight. I don't know. You confused me now. I don't even know what it is. I don't, I, I don't know. Kazoom tight. I don't, I don't actually Kazoom sneeze Kazoom all the way. I think that's nasty when people do the whole hot chew and spit go everywhere. So I stop my sneezes. I can't do that. You know you know, you can die like that? Well, hey. At least I'll die with my germs. But I just, I don't like people like, oh, like I don't, man, take your ass to the bathroom or I don't shower. I do all that. I'd be like, no, you don't. Yes, I really Spit do. Spit be everywhere. No, I don't. I don't sneeze like that. If people look at your computer screen over there, it got all the white dots on. That's because she just sneezed. No, up I on. don't. My computer screen is clean. I clean my screen. No, she don't. Th- uh, thank you. Anyways, let's get into so. some uh, Princess Hot Topics for everybody that's tuning in. We're going to get it started. Okey so dokey. if this is your first time listening to the Good Time Show, um, you might want to have a loose mind of thoughts when you listen to us yes you might want to have that okay i'm just what kidding all language right which was that <laughs> yes you know. might want to have that i was going i was i was have you taken english in college yet actually i did and i passed it both times with the a oh my god Booyah. our college system is failing us what the hell is going no, on i can actually write like great papers you went to public community college ain't no such thing as no public community college <laughs> she almost said yes though. She was like, yeah. No, I did not. I was not gonna say yeah. I went to public community college. Oh, I forgot. College. I, was, I was supposed to. Uh, okay. All right. So first on Princess Hot Topic. Stop, because you're gonna lose this battle. What battle? Because you, you can't. You're not proper like that. I really am proper. You're not. Omg, I am. You one of the people that was raised in the suburbs but tried so hard to be hood. No, I'm not. Mm-hmm. I don't try to be hood. Yes. Yeah. You are. No. Yes. I'm just bona fide hood. I was kidding. <laughs> Woo! Okay, anyway, so first on Princess Hot Topics, Chris Brown. Who, ever, who, who else better than Princess' favorite celebrity? Oh Chris my gosh. Brown. Okay, so he has a new movie coming out, and this is why he died. Who his cares? Hair Read the story. That's, no. not, that's not on the teleprompter. Read no, the story. I gotta put this out Read there. Read the story. Chris Brown skates. <laughs> And hit and run you case both maybe. You, both you know, me and my husband go to the LA okay, City right. Attorney's <laughs> Office. Okay, the LA City Attorney's Office <laughs> has just objected to the settlement between Chris and Olga. That's the girl who was in the hit and run case because it hasn't Olga. yet. Yeah, her, that's her name. Ugly name. <laughs> <laughs> ain't isn't it? I was going to say ain't it. <laughs> Look, isn't it? It's an <laughs> ugly name. Okay, so Chris Brown will not be prosecuted for the alleged hit and run that he. Was she can't never tell a guy to say her name. Say my name, Olga. Olga. That's ugly. Oh, I'm Olga. Sorry. Oh, 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 Olga. You feel good. <laughs> Oh, girl, you the best. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... That name is no fit. He got to get her nickname. <laughs> oh, Olga. <laughs> Olga, you the best. <laughs> Olga, mother. <laughs> What's her middle name? Uh, Martha? What, what, hey, listen, what if her middle name is No, Mofo? her middle name is Olga Grikov... Whatever. I don't even know how to say that. K-O-V-A-L-E-N-K-O. What the hell? Yeah, that's her name. Kovalenko. Kovalenko. Yeah, Kovalenko. Kovalenko. Wow. Rue Kovalenko. Okay. Isn't it so, a restaurant called Olga? Yeah, Olga's, Olga's Kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. Well, maybe she cooked good food. Maybe she do. I don't know. But Brown was charged with the crime after um, leaving the scene of the minor rear end collision without folking over identification. He rear ended her or she rear ended him? He, ha ha ha. He rear ended her. 
Thank Shows but, you what Chris Brown is into. What he hit her. He 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 rear ended. Look, he hit her. He hit and run. <laughs> <laughs> he rear ended her and kept it moving. <laughs> And we've learned that Olga... Chris Brown, you can't rear in no girl and keep it moving. You can't um, hit and run. You Come on, it's 2013, man. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead. All right, so we've learned that Olga, the driver of the vehicle that Chris hit, has no desire to have him prosecuted. So Chris lawyer, Mark, whatever his last name is, has filed legal docs to have the crime, you know, the whole case dropped. Um, Olga's lawyer, Freddie told different sources that his client wants no money since there was no physical injury um, and only minor damage to her car. Um, to her rear end? Yes, to her rear end. <laughs> so, Chris Brown might actually be, you know, his probation was actually, you know, might be dropped. So, he he's it. not in that much Cause, trouble. Because had Ooh, not, he'd have went to jail and then he'd have had his rear end. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Do not joke about my boo. Now listen, weird look, Chris. Ended. Look, Chris Brown is 100% respected here. He knows it. Until he calls in, he I'm not gonna stop the jokes. You he love Chris Brown. You're the number one fan of Chris Brown. You have we always held him down. We're married. I respect his his talent, his entertainment. He has a new movie his, coming out. His whole like, listen, I love his hustle. That nobody, that boy works. He produces. He's very talented, but. The jokes won't stop until That's why he show. dyed his hair blonde because he, he. I don't get no was, black man should ever dye his hair blonde. It was for that movie. I don't give a damn. It's about a movie. Okay, or not. so next story. Period. You don't, boy, don't you put no more peroxide in your damn head. You don't know what he put in his head. Yeah, I'm going to get this movie rolled. Next story. Put, um, putting peroxide in his damn head. What is wrong with you, Chris? You are a black man. It is 2013. Whatever. Put Whatever. No, don't bleach your damn hair. You skipped the story. Okay, so Mariah Carey, next on Princess Hot Topics. Um, This is kind of painful, but Mariah Carey was so self-conscious about wearing a sling on stage this weekend in uh, New York City. Um, she tried to kind of just, you know, design her cast. We have a picture of it. We'll tweet it out when we go on break of her in her sling. Uh, Mariah, who dislocated her shoulder while filming a music video earlier this month, performed at the MLB All-Star Charity Concert Saturday night in three different outfits, which included three matching slings to go with each and every outfit. Um... The problem, rather than um, to try and take away some of the attention off of her arm, because she kind of felt bad that she, you know, broke her arm. I mean, she is kind of like, what, 49, Don't worry, don't worry about it. Stop it. Can't be breaking a bone. Stop it. Listen, don't, don't worry about it, Mariah Carey. Bone, it takes a long time for it to heal, unless you got money like Kobe Bryant. Listen, it's all right, Mariah, okay? You come out with colorful... Um, oh, she bedazzled the crap out of these slings. Yeah, when this, I sweep this all she got to do is like, show her, her boobs more. And when nobody pays attention to her arms. Stop lip singing. Listen, just show the boobs more. That's all. Just come down and be like, and then squeeze them together like, and that's it. No, nobody want to see that. We Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Speak for yourself. Um, listen, I got a funny uh, response from a Twitter. Our sister, Lip Bitch. She I'm weighs in. Back. She says, "See, Breezy likes to get rear-ended." <laughs> you know, she is not funny. And then the promotionalizer, Killer Curry, retweeted it and said, "Wow." You know, don't, don't, don't talk about Chris oh, Brown. Yeah. Don't talk about Chris him. Chris Brown rear-ended. Whatever. Story to be continued. Whatever. Anyway, so LeBron James um, sent out his wedding invite. Because, you know, him and his baby mama are getting married. But the you think, problem... You think if, if uh, Chris Paul name is CP3, LeBron's is See No Hairline? <laughs> LeBron James, a.k.a. See No Hairline? I'm just joking. LeBron, you my man, Maverick. I got love for y'all. Listen, y'all my people, but I had to get that one in. That was a good one. Is it, isn't it... Is it LBJ or just LJ? What's LJ? LeBron James. What's LBJ. the LBJ? <laughs> LeBron James? Because it's... Le Bron but James. okay, first off, his name starts with the L, and no one gives the LBJ as initials. Now you can do it the ghetto way, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But it would just be LJ, right? Well, he has that tattoo well, no, on his arm. Apostrophe goes L E apostrophe with the capital oh, B. Oh hell, here we go. Here he we do. go. He do. Here we go. He do got the apostrophe. Okay. Well, so. he need to put an apostrophe in their hairline. <laughs> Going sideways. True. LeBron James, aka C No Hairline, also teaming up with CP3. I'm just playing. I'm joking. 
Okay, let me stop. That was just wrong. Yeah, you are. You you are going to be in trouble today. I'm just saying. But anyway, so he sent out his wedding invites. But the problem is that it's like the wedding is so top secret. There's no time or location on the invites. Ah. So um, instead sending invites to the guests and, you know, different people, they have to basically kind of RSVP and like it's that secret because he doesn't want just anybody going to the um, wedding or whatever. So it's going to be September 13th to the 15th somewhere in San Diego, but we don't really know because it's that secret. I got a good question. Do you think Chris Bosch is going to be a bright maid or one of the best men? Keep it like man. It's a good time to show Princess Foreplay. Don't touch your dial. Kiss you on that dress up Ain't afraid to show it, I'll expose it if I dress up Riding in that test up Roast it, roast it, catch up Sip the la-la-la-la syrup Till I messed up, like yes sir So now I'm getting changed People looking at me strange Like chicken switching lanes Never change to the same We, we get, get paper 
Names on papers, we walk around with lasers You probably own some tasers Blame you and disgrace us They girlfriends one day us Got different water I'm on You can tell by my pace up I'm digging, getting right Smoking with, with dirty Sprite Going wild for the night Being, being polite Been a while out for the weekend Me, myself, and I, my three friends Pillar broken and leafed in They sat from the sneak in Finger to the critics Me and my niggas drill it You know we finna kill it They sat Really? You don't really want that clock, bro. You don't really want to feel them shots, bro. You a beat, bro. I'm a block, bro. I'm a D, bro. I'm a hot, bro. Six shots got me feeling like pop, bro. Party all night, it don't stop, bro. Drunk as and I'm ready to fight. Follow for the night, me and me and for the night, bro. Wow, for the night, me and me and for the night, I'm going. Wow, for the night, me and me and for the night, I'm going. It's the weekend and I'm creeping with my niggas uh, Drunk and disrespectful, calling women bitches uh, I don't mean no harm, but won't you and your friends is yeah. Meet us in the cut and we'll get you the business Got my witness that I only wanna kick it And your girl just said they with it So we rolling in the binges uh, Won't you throw it up and stop the baby sitting uh, She got drunk, drunk, it's the swallow on my kids yeah. Backs on the back, backs on the back It's so fat, that runner back when it she clap in the back, she flat on the back, and it's back to the track. Yo, yo, pack, hey, sat, where's that? Hack, get clap, lay flat. Yo, yo, dream, you a dream, and you sleep, and you won't come back from the night. Bend them in three stack, it's a fact. She lives in my lap, on my out, out, pack. Daddy, fat, is on my sack. And you know I'm smoking, is rolling, but got me open. Well, until the morning with my homies, tell them where we going. Wow, for the night, D &D. Life. Showing some love and much respect for the good time show. Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy Blazer Duval, and you're tuned in to the good time show. We're Princess of Ball and Jay the Great right now. If you ain't tuned in, you're tuned out. Yeah. <laughs> Sleeping with an easy chick I be on it till the crack of dawn I don't sleep a quick I don't blink, I don't sleep I don't think, I don't creep I just do what I do And what I do, I do is deep I make music just for bed But now I'm making just for me I pin my news on the phone I'm waiting on the royalties Let me live like royalty And big deposits overseas Been the mistress on the side Nice, double D's Whipping around the bed Please, 20,000 jet skis Play the cash, rip the tags Do it so you envy Pass it till I'm empty Lead break, heavy Mama thinks that I'm a saint Game pay like Drew Brees My mind 
a risk to get it in I never stop before so don't expect for me to throw it in I'm throwing up like I threw something in my cup And then I'm pouring up like I think I done had enough But I can't get enough of it I think I'm in love with it I won't stop until I make so much shit I can't push it in Millions of publishing Millions more for songs I'm in Any models wanna crush it by all means Marshall Man and I call them Marshall Dimes Another reason that I grind I can't see my mama cry Kills me, it's my kick tonight Sees me as a Superman Because I got super plans Climbing to the top so watch your back right now You the man Choice, I'm grinding till I make some noise Not so much for me, but for my homies yeah, and all my boys I want it bad, they want it worse They grind it till they in the dirt I look at them, they look at me They go back in the lab and work I'm telling you what it's really worth Mama telling me she's good My father telling me he's proud I hear my name in the crowd Screaming baby loud and proud Tell him what my name is That's a hard but you knew me for the fame, yeah Put in work, motivate, get it for it's too late Chest of pieces of the pop and watch it Don't you break the plate, never bite the hand of feast Be thankful for what you have, don't be saying what you need But pray that one day it'll be Close the window before I record Cause New York don't know how to be quiet yeah. Stand up yeah. Third Gucci yeah. down to the socks Like I'm Piggy Popper Keep your girl hit In my tummy boxes Bring it down, she a sick house Cause she know the friggin' stock can't pin it down She don't get nothing from a nigga down When she get it all, she can get some cherry out Kinda send it down, but I'm not no tint out on my window, so you see a nigga shining in the bins out. Holy! Got me feeling like Jim Jones. I'm a pimp out, no limp out. Couldn't copy my style in King Gowns. Put it work. Run up on the killer, then I put him in the dirt. Run up in the building, so they gon' spurt. That's what a nigga get when they get into my nerves. I ain't lying. Lay him on that curb. Ride on the killer who be coming that burn. Dang. Girl, you twerk. Twerk that kitty girl, make it turn. Put it work. Flacco, put him in the dirt. Got the shovel, he gon' put him in the earth Turn that maniac with an all gon' hurt Yeah, uh, put him work Schoolboy Q with a pound of the yeah. earth So much work, he'll smoke up the earth Pull hey, no brown, get set, go That ain't con, get it, yo That's Montana Loose cannon He shot me, so I had to do it Put him in the dirt Put him in the first I just saw him swim with ten homies on it. Ah, expect you can pop ten Tahoes on it. Ah, when they mask up, uh, coming for your ice. Hey, when they big fakes, fake, they coming for your life. Ah, baby, don't break. Tell me break for the week. Week, I'm drinking lean, lean, and help me sleep. sleep. Illuminati, got it. I'm for the streets. Street. Never saw my body, body. We take them bodies. Put in work, work, work. Put in work, work, work. 
put in work. Put them in that work. Shout out that motherland. 12 years old with guns in hand. They don't ask no questions, nigga. How they do it? Bang, bang, bang. They don't ask no questions. How they do it? Bang, bang. I said, I do this for them shots. Trinidad, I love you. I do this for them shots. Jamaica, I'm your brother. No more fish from me Yeah, 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 that's my partner You got a problem with it Then, 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 that's your problem I fuck with Asian niggas And I been with Migos I fuck with Asian niggas All they speak is Creole I said, all I speak is real Y'all niggas might hate me But that don't get no deal I said, now that don't get no deal I just not got my deal I been getting this money No green card in this struggle Immigration give you nothing but Work, put it work, 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 put it work, 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 Fourth day on, I'm dead. Passion dripping off her lips. She says she never had a grip. Uh, put in work. All big booties make it twerk. All big titties lift your shirt. Show a player what you're worth. Yeah, put in work. Spray his ass in front of church. He can say I did my shit. The pastor said that nigga turn. My collar on my shirt. Make the itches go berserk. Shipping units, Captain Kirk. Taking Zannies, popping perks. But not last, I'm bombing first. Turn your backseat to a hearse Back to the lab with Mother Earth Had to give young Ferg a burst oh, A lot of homies try Do the crimes, homicide Driving by, popping nines Pakistan, Columbine Out of line, pistols barking ow, ow. Ride or die, write a script Design a line, all I see is Dollar signs, want that pretty flop Don't that just design a jacket The same niggas who jack it Be the first who claim we faggots My business is gonna be actress Stop it when the beauty passion Got a chick that work that man But I'm so damn fine Make a bitch look average Get my daughter in hell Right next to Earth Know yeah. what's up I'm dope and bucks Loaded Lux What's up you stream? It's just a pub service now Pub service now Pub service now What's up? It's me man Your boy Val 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 Check it out We got a cool contest Running for you right now man <laughs> Make sure you go right now, www.goodtimeshow.com. That's G U D T Y M E Z S H O W. And enter to win right now. All you have to do is click Learn to Win. And you can win free tickets to Jay Z and Justin Timberlake. And even Beyonce, you don't want to move. Last week, I won two tickets. I just won tickets. I. One ticket. I just won ticket. So this is your last chance you get to enter the contest and win it, and win it, and win it, and win it. All right, that's what we doing, man. We looking y'all up. Oh yeah, by the way, click the link. What's up, everybody? This is Tiffany Fox, and I am on the Good Time Show with Princess of All and Jay the Great Yizzy. Yizzy. What is oh. up, everybody? We are back on the Good Time Show. I am the princess of all. Oh. I'm your man, Jay the Great. The Good Time Show. The Good Time Show. We take you where you want to go on a Good Time Show. Oh. But we are here on this um, Mad oh. Monday. I got to get a midget that stands right here. And then he just turned these knobs. Why so are you so obsessed with the midget? Because I love him. You want to keep one in your pocket or something? No, I just love him, man. And I want I want to employ one. I want to employ a midget. I want to spread that love. Like, I love me. If anybody that knows me know, like, like seriously, like, I show love to them. But anyways, man, we back on a good time show. Yeah. Mad as hell Monday. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. My sisters need to be nice on Twitter right now, okay? Yeah, don't keep fighting. No. They're talking about I'd rather be adopted than to be a stepchild. Killer Curse like, we need to go on Murray and get a DNA test. I'm like, yeah, we do. We do. Well. Y'all need to be nice. Sissies are like love and unity. Yeah, it's, it's be not, nice it's, it's to one another. It's cute when girls fight, ain't it? When sisters fight. No, it's not. Babusi, come on now, be be honest. No, it's not. 
We're gonna be on Murray, Murray. Oh wait, no, that's Jerry Springer. My bad. <laughs> it's Jerry, Jerry. Y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. Hey, Emily. Hi, Emily. What's How up? you doing? Got you, girl. My little niece. All right, so as we get back on the Good Time Show, we just got finished wrapping up uh, Chris Brown, which he was rear ended. I mean, he rear ended somebody. We were talking about we were talking about Mariah Carey's arm. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. She just want to insist on talking about Chris Brown. He did not get rear ended, but I'm just saying. But no, did you see her arm of her trying to bedazzle it with her dresses? If you guys haven't seen it, uh, the Good Time Show tweeted out the picture of Mariah Carey on stage trying to bedazzle her sling so she won't look that out of place on for, on stage performing. So, see, you know what? But you can do that when you that got is, money. That is what you call a, a go getter. A diva. Like, do you understand that there's some people that get a little ache and and whatever? I'm like, oh, I can't work. She out there with a sling on. Like, I'm getting this money. She got a fur on that bad boy. You like, know you got money when your sling got fur. Listen, and you got fur right your That's neck. what you call a true entrepreneur, old school. Get that money. For real. Because a new you have to say it like that. Look, a new person right now. Look, <laughs> get that money, <laughs> get that money. Because look, a new artist right now would be at home talking about. I need some Vicodins. <laughs> Can y'all tell TMZ to come snap pictures of me? Mariah Carey, TMZ. like you know what? Give me a sling, put some diamonds in this joint. I'm out. I need Throw to get this money. Just got a Cadillac. Throw a sling on it. Sorry. Hey, listen. Y'all remember that song? You know what? That just made me respect Mariah. I already respected Mariah Carey because she's a diva and she's been in this business. No, because she married to Nick Cannon. No, well. first off, Nick is my guy. I'm just kidding. I respect Nick because he's the ultimate hustler. Nick Cannon gets paper everywhere. He does. Like, he there does. is no limit to Nick Cannon. He's like, you know what? I'm going to get some of that money, some of that money, some of that some money. Of that then honey. I'm going to cut my hair and look, you know, 20 years younger and get some of that Nickelodeon money. How at your boy. But I respect Mariah Carey because what she's showing these young girls is why she's a diva. That's true. Rain, see the snow. She out there Arm broke, it. foot broke, whatever. I'm on the stage. Put some, put, put some bedazzles in this joint. Let's get it popping. I'm put getting this money. I'll let your girl Mariah Carey. <laughs> and then she got the boobies out. Show Ooh, the picture again. Did you just show oh, the wait, picture again? Wait, hold on. I gotta go. She had the boobies out. Did you see it? You ain't not, see it for two. Not really. She had the boobies out. Not Look at that. Look at that picture really. right there. Look at that picture right there. Hold up. Hold up. Ah, the boobies that. weren't all that. She out. got the boobies glistening. She got rhinestones around the boobies. She asked Nick Cannon before she left. She said, "Baby, is this it?" He said, "Hold up, let a little bit more hang out." No, he Get didn't. Get that money, baby. <laughs> Nick Cannon ain't saying nothing like because that. Because when you listen, when you secure in your relationship, like you don't even trip over stuff like that. You already know. Like, listen, get it. She tell him, like, listen, boo, go out there and get it. Like, you sure? She like, get it, boo. It's all right. Hire Christina Milian to work under you at. America's Got Talent. She won't find a work whatever. What y'all paying? A seven fifty an hour? Go ahead, boo. It's all right. I'm just you saying. You both. You both. And she working for The Voice now. She moved on. I'm sorry. All right. My bad. She moved on to The Voice. It's all NBC. It's all the same thing. That's true. Is it? Is is American Got Talent on NBC? Uh, I don't know. I don't watch you it. You sit in front of the screen. Google. You want this kid to Google something real fast? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding for Tusi. I wouldn't we take that if you. I was you. We love you. He, it's okay. He's new. He's, he's and gaming. listen, he's Christian Milian, come on, like that. I was just joking with you. No, I'm not. She. I like to see her get paper behind uh, the scenes. I mean, okay, yeah, behind yeah, the scenes. That's like, okay. Come on, like listen. All of our jokes is not meant to bring anybody down or attack. It's all friendly love. It's nothing like that. So, you know what I'm saying? How have you got to get paper and get money? And I'm, she, I'm, I'm quite sure she's getting paid more than seven dollars and fifty cent an hour. I can't even think right now. What was what? we saying? Is 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 the uh, is America's, America's Got, got talent, talent on NBC. NBC? That's what it was. I can't even think right yeah, now. Let's see. But she's on, she's with, she's working with The Voice now. That's what right. she does. But yeah, they are on NBC. Okay. Now in The Voice. Okay, so yeah. So Nick yeah. Cannon got it working at NBC. Yeah, so they're both on NBC. All right. There you go. Nick Cannon might be our agent or at least he, you know, probably behind her career. That's Literally 
behind her career. Okay. Anyways, next oh, on the Princess Hot Topics. Oh, I'm sorry. So <laughs> McKenna wrong. like, man, don't blow my vibe. Don't, like, don't hey, blow my vibe. Me and Mariah are happy right now. Know, right? Um, so next on Princess Hot Topics, Lamar Odom attacks paparazzi in a whole cheating scandal. Hmm. Okay, so everything may seem extremely quiet with the Kardashian front when it comes to Kim Kardashian. Um, but of course, the paparazzi has found someone new to pick with. In the meantime, earlier this week, Lamar Odom made headlines after a tabloid claimed that Chloe had kicked him out of the house. Oh. She allegedly found out that he had um, been involved in a year-long affair with a stripper that he met at D.C. Stadium Strip Club when the Clippers played at the Mavericks. Um, and she definitely wasn't having it. Uh, yesterday, Lamar went postal on a photographer's car who had been stalking him through the streets. Uh, footage shows him um, kind of bang, uh, you know, banging one of the photographer's car with a metal rod before another photographer came with the car and grabbed all of his camera equipment. Wow. Um, out of the back seat and slamming it onto the ground like it was kind of it was the, the equipment was really shattered in the middle of the street like you could not even tell that it was equipment but um, according to some news um, he had asked the guys you know to stop following him around to put the cameras down but then they did it so then he got angry and he you know attacked meanwhile on Twitter Chloe says you know her relationship is stronger than ever. Um, she loves her hubby despite all of the rumors. She also claimed his defense um, with the incident by going hard in the paint. She says, you know, F the paparazzis, you effing losers. But shout out to my hubby for posing with the fans. Um, I love Lamar. This is uh, this becomes stalking at some point. It's wild. The effing paparazzis. Uh, this is the same paparazzi that did a hit and run. But my brother and I caught him and he has never... Um, he has the nerve to taunt us. Be ashamed of yourself. Wow. Can't believe a paparazzi snuck into our gated area and violated our private property. Yeah. But That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. But that's also been the problem forever. Paparazzi getting carried away. So they can't technically press charges on him because, like she said, it was in a gated area. It's our private property. So if anything, they can press charges against the paparazzi, correct? Because it's private property? Yeah. Good luck on that. Because some... You know, because a lot of photographers are certain certain individuals are freelance. Oh, that's true. So it's not like they work for that the a, a company. company. You know, they they try to get the best picture and send it to, you know, a company and get a the best price. So um, some law has to be passed. You know? Oh, it really and, does. And I keep saying this is that, you know, at some point, an individual's pers personal space should not be violated. That is true. You know, and when I'm in my my home. Um, or you're with your family or your loved ones or you're going through like even I don't think paparazzi should have the should be allowed to go to and shoot funerals or you That's know so certain things like yeah like when that was going on with um, Whitney. Whitney Houston's daughter mm -hmm. you know like it's certain things that it's like come on like be off we are we, we're human yeah. so you know when you're going through a hurt you don't want no one all up in your face so don't be up in no one else's face so That's true you know, eventually, hopefully, you know, our politicians and, and, and state and, come together. Yeah, and they, they, you know, start banning that. But at the same time, Lamar can't get in trouble for a stripper. Stripper, st strippers are acceptable. Cheating with the stripper is acceptable? I wouldn't call it cheating. A, a stripper job is to get you riled up and get you pumped up and you go home and have a great night. Yeah, but not for a year. You don't be in a relationship with no stripper for a year. If it was getting you riled up good enough to go home and put it in. Whatever. Uh-huh. I get it in. I get it in. But Whatever. hold up. Listen. Listen. Why is it okay for women to go see male review and male strippers? I be seeing them all lined up in Vegas. Nobody want to do that. All the horny women lined up. That's nasty. Going to see the men all oiled up. To myself, oh, my God. And all of them got wedding rings and stuff on. Come on now. Keep it real. That's nasty. Then as soon as a man go and he get riled up, he wrong. He cheating. Whatever. No. Women are like, oh, my God. Did you see his shorts? I know more. Oh, he's so buffed. Oh, look no. at his abs. Then as soon as a guy go and be like, look at her ass. Look at her titties. Oh, he's cheating. Whatever. No, I know more women that go to female strip clubs than to actual male strip clubs. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Strippers help marriages. <laughs> right. Depending on what kind of marriage you're in. Anyways. They um, do. No, listen. They do. Let's keep right. it real. Okay. Strippers right. Strippers help marriages. Why? Let me tell you something. When a guy go, 
a guy goes and he fantasizes. Now, if the wife or the girlfriend or the loved one is smart, she's at home taking a nice shower, lotioning up, getting fresh to death. So when he walk in, bow. You dig? Now, if he walk in and she got her hair all wrapped up, makeup all, like the look, the look, go to bed. Face from dots on the face and all. Then it's jacked up. Then he might be like, okay, I gotta go out and get some gas. Then he go out and find her. But if the wife or girlfriend or significant other is smart, she said, you know what, I'm gonna let you go out. Enjoy yourself. But I'll be waiting up for you. And then what she's supposed to do around about 12, 11 o'clock or whatever, send him a picture. (laughs) Waiting on you. He'd be like, oh, I got it at home. It's old month, guys. Someone is popping. And be dialed. That's, and then he gets home and it's, and it's good entertainment. It's not meant for him to go there and get lucky. It's meant for him to go there That's and true. hang out with his but, fellas. But some enjoy people, some entertainment or whatever. Some people go overboard. Look at Kirk. It was supposed to be entertainment. And he like, oh, I Look ain't married. Kirk. Oh, love Kirk it. with a K. Kirk. Kirk. Idiot. Adam Apple stuck in his throat. Dumb, dumb. Well, well, I hope that Adam Apple's is stuck in his throat because that's where it should be. But and <laughs> it really throat, like it's, it's not it really throat. doesn't like it's I didn't stuck. know throat had a K in it. Whatever, he just makes me. He, he's my there goes, bad there goes the right princess um, properness. I'm sorry, there. he just made me get real ratchet because he just makes me so angry because he just so ignorant. Any, on anyways, TV. the original Ugh. topic with Lamar Odom before we get straight off. You're right. Let um, me calm down. I don't think any woman should get mad at her man going to see strippers. Period. Because but she didn't get mad. Okay, bingo. And I, I, I know I'm and like I'm just saying like no women should. So what it is? It's entertainment. Yeah, sure. When women if watch movies, so. when women watch movies, and y'all see dudes take off their shirts or certain things, y'all be like, mm, mm, mm. So what? Oh, okay. Men do it. Okay, it's a difference. A woman no. is not in the movie no, with no, her no, shirt no. off. Yes, it's plenty of those. Every time we wait for her to show a check for two C, am I right or wrong? You're they right. cut no. it. No, no, they don't. Sometimes they do. They no. show a man yeah. with his chest out and his ass out. As soon as it comes to the woman, they cut it. Um, you be like, oh. Okay, man. it's the difference in looking and then actually being involved with that person. That's two different things. Of course, you can. What's look. It, explain what's involved. Intercourse, being involved, like I don't know what that communicating. Means. You yeah, because you know Your I'm right. Said I did not have. <laughs> Sexual relations with that woman. I don't what know what you mean. By that. But then what they found his stuff all over her dress. Like you lying, it Bill Clinton. But it wasn't in her. So technically, it, it wasn't intercourse. It was skirt course. <laughs> 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 Come on now. Come on, church. Let's keep it going. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh I'm just. Gosh. I'm just keeping it real. Okay. He's right. You got. Yeah. Okay. You got to understand. Like, what is intercourse? Listen, we don't know what that listen, means. Listen, I don't. Even okay, if I was in a relationship, I wouldn't mind my boyfriend going to a strip club, going out. I would probably go with them. That's fine. You're looking, okay. you're having fun, it's entertainment. But once you actually start, you know, building a relationship a with relationship? the stripper outside of her work, when you're like, like hey, hook me up for a secret lesson. Like, why you can't go to the club and get a lap dance? Why she gotta come to the house or y'all gotta go to a hotel to get a lap dance? Because at her house, she's more comfortable and maybe they can, like... Nah, see? She, they, nah, see, that's what you can, and the stripper go end up on the She can warm up news. some popcorn or something. I'll pop, off your, I'll pop and, out your trunk you know like Kevin Hart. Like, mm, Like, what? She, she put some popcorn <laughs> on. She show them how things is done. I mean, no. she's just friendly... Popcorn and a lap dance. No. It's nothing serious about that. They so watch would, Netflix afterwards. So you would tell your wife like you about to go to a hotel with a stripper because she she's more comfortable there. Say that if again. You, if you were married, you would tell your wife like, "Hey, I'm about to go to the hotel because uh, the stripper she feel more comfortable there. We're just gonna pop some popcorn and you know she gonna do a little dance." No, I thought I was gonna shoot pool. Keep it like it's a good time, <laughs> show. I'm out. <laughs> Keep it locked, man. It's a good time. So, Princess Four Play, man. We got more to come up. Don't touch your dials. It's like I'm going to shoot pool. Going to shoot some pool. Yeah, the one on Peachtree. I was with Dimitri. See you when you're loving hip hop men, DC. These petty is is my dog. If I say it on wax, they'll be follow. If I'm sipping in the club, mix, mix, God, I got a big fat, big. Cause that get it, I get it. 
gave them to you. Don't fucking I just went it. through a breakup. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's okay, I got my cake up. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do my hair, put on some makeup. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to see what tonight gon' take us. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I post some pics up looking sexy. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not as me, but won't text me. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How much you won't get me. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He gon' regret the day he left me. Ooh, Breaking up, oh, oh, but to me, go ahead and pull me a little more. Tonight we gon' have us a good time. Let's have a toast to our goodbyes. Oh, ladies, it's your song, so as soon as this come out, you should get out on the floor, go and get your sexy out. If you know that you better than the new girl daddy out, go ahead and tell them now, you gon' miss me when I'm out. I'm out. It's me when I'm gone. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Now tell me, do my ladies run this? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even Hammer can touch this. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We standing up on all the couches. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow you gon' hear about this. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what you hearing through your speakers. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we dance until I feel her. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I found out he was my problem. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah.
say you wanna fly. Wanna fly, wanna fly, wanna fly. So I men get high. I'm spending all the most, and if he ain't coming close, it's time that you tell him bye. I'll take you up in the sky. We'll be floating, get you like the ocean. I, I, I'm a speed up on it. If, if it was a book, I would read up on it. Girl, I'm just trying to get you back to my crib. Seen all them Instagram pictures you post, so I already know what it is. Talk to me now. He ain't fly. Johnson from Lala Tour for Life. You are now listening to the Good Time Show with Princess and Jada Grace. Holla! Yo, what's happening? It's your man's Dwelle, and you're listening to Power 89. Keep rocking. Mike Wilmer. Wilmer. Write a bold no, yeah You put in overtime, overnight Doing everything I like, oh so right, yeah You hold me close, squeeze me tight Look me deep inside my eyes, baby, you know I love it But nothing can compare To when you kiss me there And I can't lie when I lie in your arms, baby I feel so sexy Boy, just take your time yeah. Send chills down my spine yeah. You're one of a kind yeah. That's what I gotta make you mine yeah. Boy, you turn me on yeah. Got me feeling hot yeah. Now I'm really gone yeah. I like, I like, I like my kisses down low Makes me hush my back When you give it to me slow Baby, just like that She like to kiss it down low Make my arms fall back When you give it to me slow Baby, just like that Okay, baby, go on ahead, do your thing right on the way And I love it when we misbehave Me and you together, baby, we can do everything Boy, if somebody could see The way you kiss on me They won't believe it, even I don't believe it But I love the way I'm feeling So boy, just take your time Send chills down my spine you're one of a kind, yeah. that's what I gotta make you mine yeah. Boy, you turn me on, yeah. got me feeling hot yeah. Now I'm really gone yeah. I, like, I, like, I like my kisses down low, makes me hush my back When you give it to me slow, baby, just like that You like to kiss it down low, make my arms fall back When you give it to me slow, baby, just like that Take your time, yeah. send chills down my spine yeah. You're one of a kind, yeah. that's what I gotta make you mine yeah. Boy, you turn me on, yeah. got me feeling hot yeah. Now I'm really gone yeah. I, like, I, like, I like my kisses down low, makes me hush my back When you give it to me slow, they may just like that She like to kiss it down low, make her arms fall back When you give it to me slow, they may just like that Oh, baby, just like that. 
just like that I like my kisses down low I like my kisses down low I like my like my Drinking in love songs, she got me up all night. Down and out with these love songs, she got me up all night. Drowning out with these love songs, she got me up all night. Yeah, all I'm singing is love songs, she got me up all night. Yeah, constant drinking in love songs, she got me up all night. Yeah, down and out with these love songs, she got me open all night. Uh huh. Okay, back when I was sleeping in my mama crib But even back when I was up there in my homie crib Paying $1,700 for the rent Money well spent, no heater but it Hey, eat me, I vent, had a thing for you Even wrote the song, dreams for you Cause I had a dream for your thoughts of a rain For your childish, no childish Anonymous flowers sent you, no cowards Now I need to sign a hoe, took a power trip Back home, I'm grown now, when the city's my throne now huh? the Same clubs that I used to get tossed out Like got crisscrossed, totally crossed out Cause now I'm in this and I'm totally bossed out Old six crying cause they know that they lost out But I'm still on you, I'm still on you My drinks fell on me while I fell on you I'm saying Would you believe me if I said I'm in love Baby, I want you to want me Would you believe me if I said I'm in love Baby, I want you And we are, we are, we are This has gotta be the longest crush ever If I ever get the f***ing me the longest bus ever Love is a drug like the strongest stuff ever And smoke it on my own one You feel me? She on a power trip She got me where she want a nigga Wife in the club And my homies gon' disown a nigga Like, give me twenty dollar, dollar Let's look at how you get to college, college uh. I'm in your city and I'm wondering if you're home now Went and found a man, but I'm hoping you alone now Can't help but feeling like I dropped the ball, cliche I used to pop up on you at the mall each day Now typically I kick game like East Bay, but you got a freeze frame yelling, please play. For Pete's sake, how we pull it together? Just woke up one time and be through it forever. But would you believe me if I said I'm in love, baby? What you want me? Would you believe me if I said I'm in love, baby? What ya? Yeah. And we are, we are. Princess of all. I'm your man Jay the Great, and we are still here on the Good Time Show. On the Good Time Show. 
Today is Mad as hell Monday We still up in this piece man Shouts out to everybody that had to wake up early this morning I feel like in my heart that Monday should not start until 3pm Everybody should be able to wake up late on Mondays Or call in late for work And you should not be able to be fired or anything it may be I um, agree. Unfortunately that does not work for Becky Yeah Not for Becky The Good Time Show doesn't have those rules No they don't But we got Patusi in the building Patusi is on the Twitter So uh, yeah, it's for Boosie now it's for Boosie. Oh, now you changed it to for Boosie. That's what you guys call me now. So oh, okay. it's for Boosie. Yeah. Okay, for Boosie. So um, rumors has it that you like Mariah Carey boobs. <laughs> and someone wants to know if you can twerk. I got Ooh. a question. Can you twerk? I never tried. <laughs> really? Mm-mm. Do guys twerk? I don't yes. know. Yes, they do. I've seen some guys twerk. This one dude on YouTube twerk. Like oh, the Asian so, dude. No, not him. It's another dude. He twerked like so good. Like I, I, I'm confused. Hey, now I heard you on on break. You said that Sierra is sexy. No, I said she was beautiful. Oh, beautiful, mm-hmm. beautiful and sexy ain't the same. Well, no, she is sexy. So okay, what's the difference? Like, if a girl is beautiful, she can't be sexy, or can a girl be beautiful and sexy? Well, depends who. Um, don't ask me. I don't know the difference. Like Sierra, is Sierra sexy and beautiful? Yes. Uh, Janet Jackson. She old. I'm just kidding. No. Nicki Minaj. Yes. Yeah. Holly Berry. Holly Berry. Yeah. See, Holly Berry is the thing for every generation. No, it's not. She's that one that no matter if you're too young or too old, you will. No. Versace, Versace. I'm trying to get Holly Berry a baby, and no, no one, one can stop, stop me. <laughs> Versace, Versace. I've never that's heard what, the song. That's never. What Drake never heard said. it. I never heard the song. Oh my gosh, I gotta play it for you. It gets stuck in your head like I'm not even. Yeah, I've, I've never. I never. Okay, name somebody else that's sexy to you. Um, you, me. <laughs> 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 Hey, for Boosie getting cool points up in this <laughs> joint, like, right now. okay, no, seriously, like, okay, right, um, like, who, who would be, um, like, who, who, who is the young generation, like, oh my gosh, she is sexy, like, who is the new generation looking at right now? I mean, I don't really listen to girls. I probably Beyonce. She, Beyonce? She, yeah, she's sexy. Oh Lord. Really? Yes. Wow. Uh, uh, no, uh, no, okay. No, no, no. What about Kelly Rowland? You yeah. better say Kelly Rowland. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. my girl. Yeah, 100%. And Carrie Hilson. That's my girl, too. Sierra, my girl, too. Tia and Tamara. I watched their TV show last night. Tia is cute. Tia, Tia. is pretty. And Tamara is pretty. Which one, which one farted? Tia. <laughs> She's not sexy. She is. No. You can't fart in front of the guys. Yeah, you can't fart in front of guys. Guys weren't supposed to be watching the show. It doesn't matter. Like, she farted on TV. That's it, It's all over YouTube. It's well, over with. I talked about farting. Okay, so uh, let's 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 move on. Okay, to, so you know you know the, the thing is is that me and Fabusi is gonna forever hold our peace, but if people knew the princess off the air What you talking about, Willis? They don't know. What? <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about right now. Okay. Show show you stream your socks and start. You stream oh you wanna see my socks? Okay, hold on. Who wears Mitch Mac socks? That's the style nowadays. No one wears yeah, no one wears socks. like mat, like matching socks. It's a Pink damn and green. Shame. Pink and green is that thing. So that's just I'm wrong. Somebody, no, your mama needs to kick <laughs> your ass. Pink and green is that thing. Look at them on you stream. Get it? And you everyone. stream pink and green. Look at. Oh wait, my shoulder needs to pop. Oh, okay, sorry. See, look at that popping your shoulder. What? Anyways, come on. Next on the Princess okay. Hot Topic um, on Mad as Hell Monday as we sit here. Shouts out to everybody that's tuning in and riding with us. Everybody that's at what work. Up? Watching us on the screen or listening to us on Sylvia. your radio sexy or your Janet. absolutely sexy Janet, Sylvia, Michelle Amy, and, Amy and Michelle. Michelle and Amy. Yeah. Amy Michelle said, and Amy, Michelle, Amy, Michelle. Michelle said, "Don't make me jump through this email." It's Michelle and Amy. Okay. Yeah, she did say that. She was like, "Look, okay." I gave y'all the benefit of the doubt for the two weeks, but I'm gonna need you to get it correct. Your dick. Uh, okay. where, 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 Lucas Cash and 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 Shelly. Lucas Cash was tweeting earlier, but Shelly Smith like, disappeared. I don't know where Shelly Smith went. 
Is Killer Curve and, and Lil Bit done arguing? I think so. I don't know. She's telling me right now that strippers are going to be mad at me because of what I said. Absolutely. But I ain't say nothing. Absolutely. You what know I love my strippers. You? Man, I love them scrippers. Man, that's the 2 Chain song. Him and, him and Nicki Minaj. I love them strippers. You ever been to a strip club? No, but I really want to go to it's one. Like baby oil and ass in that joint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Shouts out to all my strippers. Cinnamon, what up, girl? I ain't seen him in a while, though. Wait, is it tasty or toasty? Toasty. Oh. Hey. <laughs> you know what he said? Tasty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Please. Oh. Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. All right. So, okay, I, I can't be silly on this story. All right. Matthew Morrison. I, I believe that's how you say his last name. Um, He's been honored. He played in Glee. Um, He passed away over the weekend. Matthew, who plays Finn Hudson, mentor and teacher on the show, Glee, um, played a, um, a gig 54 Below NYC. Prior to the set, Matthew addressed a tragedy of Corey's sudden death um, and referred to the actor as a brother, as reported by New York Times. Uh, Matthew then changed his opening number and uh, dedicated the song to Corey. Corey is the guy who passed away and, and died, but Matthew did a tribute to him. So yeah. prayer goes out to the whole family and everyone. Absolutely. Um, now, wait, I know there's now, a lot now, of Glee Go back to the headline There's a lot of the, the Glee headline. fans. It says... Um, Matthew Moore, Morrison honors Corey Moan. Right. You, you ever been to a funeral? Um, and first off, RIP to him. And uh, that's truly sad. He, yeah. he was 31? Yeah. That is too young to leave this world. That is. But too young. But he, he was going through um, rehab. And he had been out of rehab for a couple months. And they found him oh. in, a ho- in a hotel. And they said, you know, they think that he overdosed. So God bless his family. Yeah. And, um, you know, still that's 31, man. It's too young to, to leave this world. No. Yeah. You ever been to a funeral? And this is off the subject. This has nothing to do with him. But you ever been to a funeral, right? Mm-hmm. And um, it, it, say it's an individual in your neighborhood that you grew up in. Right. And this individual robbed everybody, shot everybody, the whole nine yards. And the preacher be like, here lays the beloved, cherished. And everybody in the, in the, in the, the audience be like, what? Beloved. Cherished. Man, we here to make sure this mofo is dead. What is he talking about? He Sarah? owe me money. I'm just here to see who going to pay off his debt. It's, it, you know, because when we leave here, that's when all the beautiful words speak upon us. And once again, this is not about the story we just read. I'm just, yeah, when they speak, said, speak in general. yeah, when they said that, it was just like, you know, I remember as, you know, when I was young and I went to a few funerals and it was like some of the toughest guys in the neighborhood. Like they had just like literally terrorized people. And uh, the preacher who was giving a sermon, or what they call it, the um, like a sermon, like a speech. Yeah, but it, it, they call it a different name. I don't know any funeral terms. I've only been to like two funerals. Okay. In my life. Um, and I should know because I've been through. I've I been through literally probably over hundreds of funerals in wow. my lifetime. Yeah, I have. I'm, and, and it's sad to say this, but um, you know. The, the person who's giving the, the speaking testimony stuff. it's not that um <laughs> i'm quite sure somebody tweeting is telling us the name right now if you go to twitter babusi babusi <laughs> <laughs> babusi um but they be like the beloved land here lord knows he left us too early he was such a great soul and they might be like did you know he killed and robbed people for a living what is you talking about, Reverend? He'd be like, the soul of this youngster should stand at peak because he left here too young. Like, man, he was 42. He just robbed us and him down the block. What did you talk about? Shut up. But it's amazing how to some a person is viewed in one light, mm-hmm. but that person is still loved and honored and cherished. To no matter someone what. else. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like wow, because I remember going to some of those things and people like, man, such and such wasn't listening to that. But you still got people there that's crying over them and, and loving them. So that's why, you know, I really don't believe in like when you go to funerals, I don't believe in people bringing up the negatives or the bad things that someone has done because, I mean, they've already passed away. You don't want to tarnish someone's legacy of what they left. Like at least shine light on the bright of what they did instead of being like, oh, he was no good. He was did it. Like, that person robbed you of your necklace chain and you can't. To the funeral, they had he had his necklace chain on it. What you want it back? 
No, it's like, a reverend, dead person. Uh, is it okay if I take that chain off his neck? That is so. If you go to someone's funeral to get something back that they took from you or borrowed from you, you going to hell. I'm sorry. How? They no. took it from you. What if? What, listen, okay, listen. It don't, it listen. Don't hold up. Hold up. Her. Listen. Listen to me. What if your grandma? Or, or or your fiance or your husband gave you a necklace. He took it from you. Mm-hmm. Your loved one passed. And that's the only thing that you have to cherish around your neck. So you go to this person's funeral and it's around his neck. You wouldn't want it back? I'm sorry. I'm not taking nothing off a dead person. Would you for Boosie? Yes. I would want mine's back. I'm sorry. I'd I be like, hey, I'm like, y'all sure he did? Hey, hey. Yeah, I got the, 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 the coroner's report. He did, right? He can't get up. Nick, give me my necklace. Up off I'm you. sorry, because if every Ain't time that how I Debo put it was on, on Friday? Yeah. yeah. Debo was punking. What's up, Red? What you got on my phony, homie? Every time I put it on, I'm going to imagine it around this other dead person's neck. Like, it's never going to leave my mental. And I'm just going to flip the... I'm just going to flip out. Wow. Well, that's you. Spray it with something. There you go. Spray Ugh. with holy water. <laughs> <laughs> Baptize the necklace. In have the have Angie Stone come and spray with holy water. Maybe she did on R&B oh, Divas. Oh, man. They were looking <laughs> at her like, you don't get this holy water off my forehead. All right, listen. Um, but anyways, it go. Anyways, you know, 31 years old is too early to leave, man. And, and um, his family has our, our blessings and our prayers. So um, I know everybody saw the, the, the verdict and the trial and everything this weekend. I know it's everybody waiting to hear what the good time show got to say about the trayvon martin verdict the trayvon martin situation i know everybody is waiting on that so we have one piece of news left which is beyonce well we have two pieces what we got this and then we got ellen iverson yeah. Then so we gotta keep bringing that man through the, through the media. Okay, we don't have to. We don't have to. We can just why, think about why, it. We can just think about we? it. But um, so Beyonce right. honors Trevon Martin following the not guilty verdict. Um, Beyonce interrupted her own concert last night to take a moment of silence for Trevon Martin. Uh, right after the news broke. Um, when the juror said that George Zimmerman was not guilty, um, it happened at in Nashville at a concert um, about 30 minutes before the singer took the stage. The news broke that, Jimmer, that Zimmerman was acquitted for a second degree murder and manslaughter charged in the shooting of the death of 19 year old Trayvon Martin. Um, after a moment of silence, Beyonce sang The Course of I Will Always Love You by uh, Whitney Houston. And then she went into her own song of Halo. Um, so, you know, speaking of Trayvon Martin, I am just really, really, I mean, I'm not shocked because a part of me knew that George Zimmerman was going to get off, but there was a little piece of hope in me that he would have, you know, at least faced, you know, a couple years or two, whether or not, you know, people try to make it as if it was a race issue. And even if it, you know, it's not really a race issue because right is right and wrong is wrong. If you take away the color... The facts are there that, you know, he killed Trayvon and, you know, people want to make up their own stories or their own, you know, assumptions of what happened. I mean, if you listen to all the pieces of the evidence and everything that everyone said, it shows that he was guilty, that he first made the move. When you first listened to the first 911 call that he made, he was inside his car. You heard the dinging of the car when he was on the phone. You heard him slam the door, get out of the car, and proceed to walk up to Trayvon. So, I mean, I think, you know, that part kind of got lost. It got twisted. I mean, he made up his story a couple different times. He switched it and changed it. He said, no, I approached him and he... Princess, princess, princess. (sighs) I want to give you, because I don't want to cheat you out of your time, I want to give you your full time. We're going to go into a princess foreplay. We're going to come back. Okay. And you're going to be able to vent the way you want. Also, um, thank you, Killer Curve, our promotionalizer. It's called the eulogy. That's what I was saying that the preacher or a person that speaks at a funeral, he gives the eulogy. Thank you so much. The eulogy. Because we was up here stressing about that. Like, what is the name of it? Um, I thought it was um, a testimony. um, But, yeah, it's called the eulogy. But we're going to give princess... Because I Her have strong time, feelings about this. Like she gave me my time for sports and then I'm going to comment. So okay. um, let's get ready to get into We're going to talk about Jay-Z, which I think is a great song to come in after this weekend. Open letter. Open letter. Um, and we have some great music getting ready to pop off. So listen, man, it's the Good Time Show. Don't touch your dial. We got more with Trayvon Martin, the whole comments, and some Chris Brown up-to-date news. Yes. So don't touch your dial. Let's get into it. The 
this shit not. Uh, I done turned Havana to Atlanta. Why very shirts and bandanas? Hey, time think it got me, I switched the planner. Bulletproof this radio scanner. Ballin' to they banners. You gettin' too much bread, they try to jam you. Boy from the hood, but got White House clamors. Side y'all, I don't agree with y'all parents. Politicians never did shit for me. Except lie to me, distort history. Wanna give me jail time in the fine? Fine, let me commit a real crime. I might buy a kilo for cheap keep. Out of spite, I just might flood these streets. Ah! Hear the freedom in my speech, got an onion from Universal, read it and weep Would've bought the nest of Brooklyn for free Except I made millions off of you fucking dweeb I still own the building, I'm still keeping my seats Y'all buy that bullshit, y'all better keep your receipts Obama said chill, you gon' get me impeached You don't need this shit anyway, chill with me on the beach Y'all gon' learn today Start a revolution. You know, whenever I'm threatened, I start shooting. Fire! Catch your body, head to Houston. I'm in Cuba, I love Cubans. This communist talk is so confusing. When it's from China, the very mic that I'm using. Idiot win, the Bob Dylan, the rap music. You're an idiot, baby. You should become a student. Oh, you gonna learn today. Where the fuck have you been? The world's under new management. New role model, fuck this Zoolander shit, uh Till we wake up, wake up, put up Got all these pounds I work out, I'm doing cool Just by the band is in the building Pop that, pop that, throw a foot up in the air One time for an thing like me With a squad like this With a team so strong and flow so cold Ain't nothing but some bad, bad in my clique What's up, east side? What's up, east side? We in it, bitch We in it, bitch They think they seeing me But they ain't seen But they ain't seen girl, girl, Girls on the pole yelling, make me rich yeah. Girls on my shows wanna take my dick Yeah, we can do this here all night Can't tell me nothing, can't tell me All in my zone, all on my own Open that pack, yeah. rolling that strong And we still up in this Won't turn down, won't go home Yeah I'm in my zone, I'm feeling it Stop blowing my buzz, quit killing it So buy another round, they tried to shut us down About an hour ago, but we still in this We still in this, 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 we still in this Six meals on my ride You kept me swerving all of your side of town Don't, don't, don't kill my vibe, don't blow my high, just blow my guy I'm so paid, I'm so fly, your baby daddy Dear respect me, black it yeah, out, that no lie I'm on my square, blowing circles in the air Her that purple, I'm a boss and you a worker Listen here, boy, don't make me hurt you You want trouble, I got plenty, how you want it? Fully send me, I'm so rich, so all that What you kick it, don't offend me Don't get cute off in it, I, I spend meals all in this shit Boy, it been 11 years of this shit Look at me now, still in it Yeah, I stand tall, no can't fall You picking that stuff, can't touch G See me, don't speak, ain't nut G I'm in my zone, don't fool with me Aye. I'm in my zone, I'm feeling it Stop blowing my buzz, quit killing it So buy another round They tried to shut us down About an hour ago, but we still in this We still in this We still in this Me 
and all my d all these bad all this free love so run about so many women one of these might be your wife she looking for that ballin so tonight might be her night you know me as they stun Loki I threw tuition at Onyx flip money fast like sun and rich I speak ebonics got a new car I pay cash got a new crib with a weak lab Chris bills I need that your team with a freak set hundred deep in VIP I always hate it. I came in with a bunch of goons and I'm leaving now with this lady I got your boo in my boo got a G about to swallow my baby my system loud my weak loud no her clip or something faded trippy I'm in my zone, I'm feeling it Stop blowing my buzz, quit killing it So buy another round, they tried to shut us down About an hour ago, but we still in this We still in this, we still in this We still in this, we still in this Turn it up loud and buy another round They tried to shut us down About an hour ago, but we still in this Look what I started, forgive me, dearly departed My artistry's present sense, the past is irrelevant What I hold in my soul, then till I break every mold Skin only I can be comfy in any situation I'm thrown On a living spree and doing well, but so I'm destined to fail Suggest that I gather trash, progress to carry your mail It's either dead or in jail, I'm alive past 25 And yeah, I live behind bars, but they ain't keeping me inside Arise the greatness follows pride, Bit too hard to swallow mine Out of line, come follow mine, it's poop with thought to hollow mine Screaming recession, unnecessarily stressing If one is for the money, what's the use in two stepping, huh? I took the road less stepped on Stepped in the booth and left an impression Thicker than Teflon It's come to my attention that mention And real shit when I'm spitting Keep phony niggas from listening Cause they don't understand The damn word that I'm saying Looking at me like I'm crazy Hating while the critics praise me Middle finger fucking pay me I'm fine I never mind the minds of those behind me I ride I die with those that grow And make go right beside me Yeah So how you like me now? How you like me now? I hate to say I told you so, so I say how you like me now, how you like me now I love my life, sometimes I second guess it Lay that night down on my knees, said Hail Mary's the blessing Scrape my knees along the way, but who won't when they grinding? Wear my sun and shades at night, but who don't when they shining? I ain't bringing them blinded, so they love me the same Father gave me my name, wouldn't change a damn thing Some people tell me I must be out of my damn brain They say the only good life is the fortune and fame They call me middle class, raise my glasses to the good life Screaming, kiss my middle class I'm driving the moment, I let the past crash My mind get my money like I'm in the cash cab Hey, how you like me now, how you like me now I hate to say I told you so, so I say how you like me now, how you like me now huh? King of the hill, you boom I was mumbling Still fit as flowers, your bumblebee tuna Ain't as stinky as I was What may take you a lifetime, wrapped in under an hour Motown and Clemens, we fam Taking over, I am, hey How you like me now, how you like me now I hate to say I told you so, so I say How you like me now, how you like me now <laughs> The future, volume one, right now in the U stores, man. So it's out, it's available. It's your boy Meek Mill. I'm Currency. Hey, what's up, y'all? I am your girl Candy. I'm Walk Fly Flame. What's up? This your girl Diamond, aka Miss 32 Flavors. Hey, this is Little Bit. Just trying to show some love to my good time fam for the future number one mixtape. It's dope, y'all. Hello. I already know what it is, man. It's Big Sean. Good music. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your girl, the Princess of All. Make sure you guys check out the featured volume one hosted by this girl, the Princess of All, and my co-host, Jay the Great. Boy, act like you know something, man. Go on there right now. I'm on there. Click the link. All the way from the 212 to you, it's Harlem's own YMCMB zone. Your boy, Jay Mills. And right now, we putting it down on the Good Time Show. Yo, yo. HD Beats. P-H-E. And yeah, they watch you. Look at me. I have the power. They watching me like I'm in the sea. They watching me when I take a leap. 
They watching me when I cross the street. They watching me like I ain't me. They watching me when I meet and greet. They watching me like I'm at my feet. They watching me like I'm about to flee in the courtroom like Lord C. Wipe your lens and adjust the sights. I hope you keep up, cause I'm in the night and I'm leaving smoke like a camel light. They watching me like I'm Iron Mike in a bell run and I wanna fight. They watching me like I'm Denzel, like I snort the wolf, like I crash the flight. They watching me like I'm Wesley Snipes and I'm kicking them to avoid a bite. They watching me like I'm talking shit, like I'm fucking old. Shout out to Mr. Pipes. They watching me like my life is great, like I drive a Bentley, got a full safe. They watching me like I made a cash, like a nigga ain't really got shit to pay. They watching me like I can't be in school, have a couple degrees, just keep it cool. They watching me like I'm getting sued, but good. Good luck, cause I'm a broke dude. They watching me like I'm Lino Brown, like I got a new black fly jack nigga in town. They watching me cause I stay to myself, and I'm one deep and I hold my ground. They watching me cause I'm up to par, and I present myself as a superstar. They watching me cause my hustle up, and I'm on my own and don't give a fuck. They watching me like I'm really famous, but I'm in the hood with low red payments. They watching me when I pull up late, take on E, Jimmy B.A.G. They watching me like I'm in the sea. They watching me when I take a leap. They watching me when I cross the street. They watching me like I ain't me. They watching me when I meet and greet. They watching me like I'm at my feet. They watching me like I'm about to flee in the courtroom like Lord C. They watching me like I broke a promise. They watching me like I'm really front. They watching me like I own something. They watching me like I broke the plumbing. Like I left the crib and left the water running. They watching me like I'm looking funny. They watching me cause they see me coming. They watching me like I'm on more, like I didn't wear a condom. Man, I'm sorry. They watching me like I broke the law. I probably did, but nobody saw. They watching me like I'm Master P, like I own the masters on Ghetto D. They watching me like I'm trying to creep, but my women grow like TLC. They watching me like I smell bad, but I smell like Vickers and rock that Fendi. They watching me when I'm in the city. They watching the label and how we kick. They watching me like I'm Ari Turner, like I sniff that shit. Now beat my bitch. They watching me when I scratch my dick. They watching me cause I jam like this. They watching me when I gut my guard. They watching me when I pop my car. They watching me when they watch my chick. They watching me when they watch my clip. They watching me when we leave the booth. When we at a party and get loose. They watching me and that word is true. They watching me like they watching you. They watching me like I'm in the sea. They watching me when I take a lead. They watching me when I cross the street. They watching me like I ain't me. They watching me when I meet and greet. They watching me like I'm at my feet. They watching me like I'm about to flee in the courtroom like Lord C. Everybody, I am your girl, the princess of all. I'm your man, Jay the Great. And we are back on the Good Time Show. The Good Time Show. The Good Time Show. I take you where you want to go on the Good Time Show. Um, real quick, shout out to my boy, Andrew. Okay, He tried to tweet us the word um, eulogy as well. And he was like, man, Killer Kurt beat me to it. <laughs> I know. See, I told you. I told you I got you. I got you. You tried to hook us up. I got you. We know you did. We know you did. Yeah. What it do, what it do, Andrew. That's my boy right there, man. That you know is what? My boy. I love 
everybody that supports and uh, enhances our movement, man. Like seriously, and and and, and it's a lot of you know individuals that listen from work and they can't be so responsive, Verbal. yeah, as they want. So you know, I. I I don't get tired of saying shout out to everybody that vibes with us and listens to us. So. And people always are like, oh, you know, every time I tune in, I don't want to tweet you guys. Like, no, we like shouting hey, you guys. Hell out yeah. Tune in. Like, hey, let, let corporate America know. Let them know, shouty. Let them know. So, um, today is Mad as Hell Monday. Yep, it is. Let's do this. Let me let me do this real quick. Princess, can I get a little mad as hell Monday comments yeah. out mm-hmm. because once you get started yeah, I'm not I going know. in ain't no I know. breaks on this <laughs> I know I know I can imagine I can imagine <laughs> okay um, here we go Meech Meech from LA says that I wasn't surprised at the verdict but I am hurt that we have not come any farther than the past mm. Tracy Taylor from St. Louis she says the verdict was BS, but it's the law. Mm-mm. Tyrone T from Vancouver says, I don't know what to say. Yay or nay, I feel bad, but then happy for Zimmerman's. Wait, he said, I, I don't know which. I don't know whether to feel yay or nay. I feel sad for. Then I guess he meant to say Trayvon, but he said Martin's family. Happy for Zimmerman's family, but not happy overall. Violence is not the remedy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nancy Hughes from Phoenix says, can't believe it. Diana Carson from Phoenix, she says, wasn't following the trial, but at work, everyone lets me know that a black male was killed. Wow. That's all she said. Wow. <laughs> I'm just reading them as they go down. Um, Tommy P from BK It's not shocking Rodney King all over again mm-hmm. Chrissy from St. Louis Says Hide your kids Hide your kids Once again Hide your kids I heard that Dion From Money Lane Says We strapped we good. Okay, brother. That's okay. Yeah, if you shouldn't have tweeted that. If I would have reread, well, he emailed that in. If I would have oh, pre-read should. it, I wouldn't have read it. But <laughs> that's not what you, that's not going to solve anything. Yeah, it's not. It's not. I'm sorry. Okay, so X that one out. I try to screen most of them, but I was just reading down the line at this point. So, um, but um, all in all, I am going to let the princess go first. On the Good Time Show, which we're trying to um, build more markets and um, move forward in, in, in a lot of different ways. But go ahead, Princess, what you think? We might be taking a, taking a step back a little bit, a little bit. Okay, no, you know, I'm just going to be, you know, 100% honest, okay? Now, people want to look at, you know, Trayvon Martin and paint this bad picture as if he was this bad teenager. Trayvon Martin was an honor roll student with a 3.7 GPA. He was accepted into college on a full ride scholarship. He volunteered over 600 service hours. He devoted, you know, time to like his church. He was a loving son, friends. Are All these he proven had, facts? Yes, these are proven facts. I'm reading them right now. And you know, he was a loving, innocent boy. Okay, yeah, he had pictures of him, you know, smoking and you know putting up middle fingers, whatever. Who, when they were a child, did not take ignorant pictures that they would not regret now? I mean, I know if I look back at some of the pictures that I took when I was, you know, 16, 17, I'd be like, oh, man, I shouldn't have did that. But him moving forward, him being 17, he was on the right path. I'm not saying that he was a perfect child and that he was great. No child deserves to be killed when they're young. I'm sorry, no matter what kind of background that you had. And, you know, I understand, you know, the stand your ground law. There was another young lady that lived in Florida. She, you know, 
went to trial and she, I don't know the whole situation, but she fired shots in the air. No one was injured. She claimed self-defense, but she was denied the stand your ground law and she served 20 years in jail. Now she claimed the same thing. We got to get all that story to make sure that all of those particulars and all of the information that we're providing is 100% accurate. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, with the whole thing, it's really sad. Allegedly, because, that's what happened. Well, yeah, allegedly, that's what happened to her. But it's just sad because, you know, you look at George Zimmerman and, you know, he killed a child. You look at Casey Anthony, she killed her her child. But then you look at Michael Vick and, you know, he went to jail for dog fighting when he was only putting up money to house the dog fightings when he technically was not there. He did not kill the dogs himself and he faced time in jail. But yet you have. Allegedly, some say that he was well, yeah, and some uh, say he wasn't. But Allegedly. you're right. I, I understand what you're saying. But you have, you know, two young kids who will never be able to step foot back on this earth. And their lives are not that important over a dog. I'm not saying dogs are important. So all the animal activist people don't come after me. But I'm just saying a life is the same thing as a dog. If a dog is that important, then this life should be just as well important. And if you take away all the facts, if you strip down the colors, because if this was vice versa, if Trayvon Martin was white and George Zimmerman was black, this case would have been closed a long time ago. And it's sad that it's that way because, you know, even when I listen to all the details, it just makes you cry because it's just like this young man was fighting for his life even if you know he did punch George Zimmerman or he tried to beat him up he was attacked for his life I know when I leave out the house sometimes especially run into this corner store he was like not even a block away from his dad's house I'm pretty sure he did not think that he was going to get attacked it's been plenty of times I've left out my house in my scarf my pajamas real quick run into the store getting something getting knickknacks late at night thinking I'm about to go back home chill and relax not paying attention you might be on the phone in a conversation talking to your friends not even paying attention to what's going on around you and to think that maybe sometime if I leave out my house looking a certain way someone's just gonna assume that I'm a threat to their neighborhood and I could be at fear for my life that is the most dangerous thing ever because now it's like I can't even walk outside in a hoodie and be carrying something at nighttime because I might look like I'm a threat even if it's you know a black male uh, a black lady I've seen females that have been wearing hoodies outside and I think that she may be a male because you cannot tell what someone looks like if they're wearing a hoodie and just jeans or pants. You can't tell what someone, who someone is. I mean, that's she basically... She big feet? I'm just playing. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, it does not matter. It's just, it all resolves to stereotyping. And that's the sad part because everyone wants to say, you know, it's not about race and, you know, this is going to turn into a big... So it is about race because, I mean, if you look at someone and you see them in a turban, you're automatically going to think, oh my gosh, if we're on a plane, they're going to blow this plane up. I'm, I'm fearing for my life. If you see a black guy in a hood, automatically you're going to think, oh my God, I'm about to get robbed. Let me hide my stuff. Mm -hmm. It's sad, but it's also true. So George Zimmerman, he can act like he's the victim, but he's not the victim. He's still alive. He can still breathe, go home to his family. Family and have fun. Trayvon Martin is six feet under and there's nothing that he can do about it. He's not here to tell his side of the story of what really happened. And when they put um, the girl... Or his side of what he feels yeah, went wrong. Yeah, of what he felt went wrong. When they put Gentel on the stand, they crucified this young lady. It's not like she was actually on the stand saying, I think this and I think that. No, she was just saying what she knows and what she could remember. You yes, have to, sir. You have to... Stop it. Okay, I'm just saying what her answer You have was. to remember that she's only 19 years old if if I lost a friend at 19 and I had to get on the stand in front of his parents and in front of his family and this case is kind of riding on me of course you're going to be pressured you're going to feel bad you're not going to want to be in front of his parents because you were the last person he talked to when he died what was that like you know how much pressure that is being around someone their last breathing moments or even hearing their last breathing everyone's okay. going to expect you Princess. to give this big picture Princess, I love your devotion. I love your concern on this topic. It's beautiful. I'm just saying. Um, when I listen to you and a lot of other young people speak on this topic. Um, okay, go ahead. Okay. 
Now, speaking about the young people, I've been seeing a lot of people on Twitter and Instagram, and they're like, you know, little Ray Ray or little Boo Boo get shot every single day. They don't blow that case up. Da da da. Forget about this. Okay, and that's the problem with young people today. If it is that important to you, you will do exactly what Trayvon Martin's mom did, and you will take the steps that you need to take to make it public and to make it known. Don't give up just because you see okay, it going enough, around. Enough. 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 No, 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 no. Enough. I really listen, want to say listen, this. Listen, listen. Enough. Listen. For every Trayvon Martin, there is thousands of young men and women killed by guns. I know that. Rape, drive-bys, drugs, you name it. I'm not saying I'm not sad about this situation. I am very sad but at the same time we cannot keep polluting our own minds not educating one another not stepping outside of ourselves of killing one another you know as much as we say Trayvon Martin or Jordan Davis or a lot of others they are individuals that are killed every day 16 17 some younger and drive-bys overdose of drugs suicide because they was bullied or cyber bully now that they call it so am i saddened yes is it shocking to me i mean we should know our history and our history should show us that i mean it's certain things that we should not look for just the, the the just to happen come on like first off Understand that for the people to be put in slavery and beaten and then be let out of slavery and then the tables turn and say that those individuals that were beaten and slaved and deprived of knowledge, education, well-being of life are the hostile and the ones we should fear. If anything, blacks should fear those that had them in shackles, those that tore them from their history, those that tore them from their upbringing, their knowledge, their back half. But at the same time, we are not living in those times, which means the library is free for us to go get educated. You can get financial aid to go to college. Mm -hmm. We don't have to fight and kill one another. We can sit down and talk to one another. And say that I had a disagreement with you You had a disagreement with me We can stop black on black crime So we can't kill each other Day after day And then when Zimmerman kills one of us We say oh that is just wrong Now, But that's what I'm saying I'll let you speak for 15 minutes At least let okay. me get, least let me get okay. 5 or 10 in okay. What I'm saying is I am sad Is it sad that it, it racial profiles I'm a black man I am a black man, so I am reminded every single day I walk out to society. Every day our radio station goes for a contract, an advertiser. Every day I walk out and I'm behind the car of a wheel, or I walk into a restaurant, or I walk into a suburban area. I am reminded. I cannot go anywhere and not be reminded. But one thing I did learn as a young man is, carry yourself and dress the way you want to be perceived. Mm-hmm. Act with respect. Dress with respect. Carry yourself with respect. Now, a book should not be judged by its cover. Unfortunately, that does not fit the bill all the time for black men. Like it's you. what it is. I tell Princess all the time. I love Princess. I think Princess is very smart. She's very young. But I tell her all the time. I said, listen, young girls have to be careful on how they dress. If you see a man dressed as a police officer, you think he's what? Fatusi? Police officer. If you see a man dressed in a clown outfit, you think he's what? A clown. If you see a girl dressed hoishly, you think she's what? A uh-huh. hoe. Does that change corporate America in fiction? Yes, it does. We can act like our outer image does not say 
or reflect on certain things. It does. That's why heavy set women has been fighting for acting roles and lead singership. That's why Jill Scott fight harder than a uh, 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 damn Alicia Keys got to fight harder than. Come on, it's what it is. That's why it's easy for a Denzel and Mark Wahlberg to play in a movie than it is Denzel and Will Smith. Come on, these are facts. It's what it is. This is the life we live in. And if we know this, we have to carry ourselves accordingly. All we got to do is stop carrying guns. All we got to do is stop killing each other. All Thank we got to do is learn the law that protects us. The law works against us because we refuse to pick up a book and learn the law. Period. Now, does that fit Trayvon Martin? No, it doesn't. Young teenager going to the store, grabbing them something to drink, walking home, somebody racial profiles. Is it right? No, it's not. Does the courts judge and base facts off of racial profiling? Yes. No. So, no, they do not. So, what we was looking for was for the verdict to come back and say guilty off a moral racial stand. No. Remember, when you go back to Rodney King, as one comment a, 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 a listener sent in, well, all of them walked. And they had to fight again. And then it went to civil. Then it went to this. But understand this, people. We have to sit down and talk to our young brothers and sisters. And we have to say, listen, why are we killing each other? Y'all don't even own no damn land or the real estate that y'all fighting over. Or the territory y'all fighting over. We're not even educated enough to school one another on how to employ and empower so what he made a mistake so what he played you and he played you because he didn't know better if he knew better he wouldn't have done it so we gotta stop always pointing a finger and going at someone saying hey they this or this was racist blacks are racist amongst one another they are and that's and my until whole we point. can i get my last minutes out okay, i let ahead. you go ham go ahead until we learn how to accept one another build one another empower one another we have to stop flipping the race card because we we was always racial profile we've always been looked at as hostile we've always been looked at as ignorant the ones that can do this the ones that can do that it's our job to show that we're not let's educate each other let's school our brothers and sisters Instead of employing your sisters in the video to make her look like a hoe or look like a tackhead or ratchet, empower her to be in your movie as a strong, powerful sister. Employ her in your video to be a sister with character, substance. Instead of bringing up why this brother is a gangster, bring up how this man made it out of poverty. I don't look at a young Jeezy as a gangster rap or a Snoop Dogg as a gangster rap. I look at them as an individual who grew up in a hood and was able to make something from themselves and give jobs to other individuals. So let's stop labeling each other. Let's stop throwing bricks at one another. Let's stop making the guys on the corner be worse than they are because they don't make the guns. They don't make the drugs. They don't have planes to get them shipped over here. So let's cut the blame. Let's cut the chit chatter and school them and say, don't do that. It's a better way for you. Here, make money here. Make money here. Go the legal route. Learn your laws. Learn the states, the laws in different states. Ladies, if you dress like a hoe, you're going to meet a man looking for a hoe. Dress like you are a woman and that make men step up. So I'm sad over Trayvon Martin. I truly, truly am. But I hope that at this point, it wakes everybody's eyes to say, hey, come on. Like at some point, when will we change? When will we get our mental together to say enough is enough? It's enough. He shouldn't even been put in that position of racial profiling. Why? Because at this point in 2013, we should be getting better acting roles. If they keep portraying us as gangsters and mobsters or attack kids or killers in movies, they quit going out to see the damn movies. And when they're not making no money at the box office, they'll stop putting us in movies looking like damn tack kids. It's what it is. Racial profiling comes from us supporting it. Stop supporting us looking like damn ignorant buffoons in movies, YouTubes, you name it. And I'm not knocking no corporation. 
We all have a choice to pick and choose what we want to watch. It's what it is. We pick and choose what we want to watch. But if a person don't make money off of it, guess what? They'll stop making it. But as long as you got those that's going to go out and support it and it's going to make money, some people ain't never been to the hood. So they only in fiction is what they see off of TV, YouTube, the internet, movies, TV programs. So if they only see this ignorant buffoonery on TV, then why wouldn't he be afraid of a black male in the hood? If his only presumption is, yo, they've been breaking in cribs. He's a gangster. Is it right? No. Don't confuse what Jada Great is saying. Racial profiling should be against the law. As much as black people been through, yes, we shouldn't be the ones that's feared. We was the ones shackled and beaten. But enough with the race car. Like, come on. Enough with the race car. How many times have a black person been walking down the street and saw a black person in the hood and be afraid? Let's keep it real. Quit being fake. How many times have we saw our own brothers and sisters and be like, oh my God, look, they so ghetto, they so wretched. Oh my, let me move. I moved all the way out here to be away from black people. Come on, let's keep it real. Like we're being fake. We have to be 100% true to ourselves. We always quick to point the finger, but not quick to look at ourselves and say, wait a minute. Instead of me pointing the finger at that brother because he don't know, let me school him and say, yo, young brother, don't wear that. Don't dress this way. It's a better way. Yeah, he might turn his head up like whatever, but keep trying. Because if the slaves had a gave up, our black asses wouldn't be where we are and able to do what we doing and live the way we doing. But that's my whole point. Just because, you know, George Zimmerman killed Trayvon Martin, everyone wants to look at it like, oh my God, a white guy killed a black guy when black people are killing black people all over. At some point and he's in time, Hispanic. He's not white. Go ahead. Okay, Hispanic. But at some point in time, black people have to stand up for what they believe in. If you don't want violence on the street, then stop supporting violence. Instead of fighting for revenge and wanting to lock him up, how about we all go to school, get higher education, and set higher standard for black Americans? How about that? So therefore, they can't paint a bad image around us because our, stand our standards will be so high, they won't expect us to be just gangsters, drug dealers, basketball players, or sports players. How about we have more black doctors, more people on TV doing something with their lives? All of reality. Reality TV is just showing buffoonery. When you look at Love and Hip Hop, it's showing people acting stupid, black people cheating, da 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 da. But then when you watch, you know, um, uh, Housewives of Atlanta, Orange County, yeah, they might fight, they may bicker, but they wake up in the next day and they go to a high end job. What do black people do? They do nothing. So yeah, I'm, not, just, I'm not gonna say they do nothing. Once again, we do I'm what not, we think is acceptable what we think is at our reach but what and I'm saying is it goes to those that's older to come off their high pedestals see you have individuals who are in their 50s and 60s some in their early and late 40s that are in positions and i'm not going to call out individuals names but you have individuals that own networks those that are very powerful that have been making millions for years enough already open up doors and opportunities school people don't do a tv show about how low or how um this or how we're not unified why don't you put together networks and teachings and classes to show because when you go to the ghetto these schools are without the proper books the proper technology so many different things so it's not right so my whole thing is is that i'm just tired of everybody making it a race thing like yes black people are racial profile okay well we like you can't people can't say they never racial profile a chinese person Oh, they go a Chinese person. Give me some Chinese food. Come on, that's racial profiling. That's not, when you see someone you with a turban, you exactly. exactly think, oh, oh let me get off this plane. Exactly. So we have to stop racial profiling. We have to learn people's ethnicity backgrounds. We have to be more diverse and understand. We learn what Muslim culture is about. Learn Catholic. Learn Christianity. Learn learn people's background and understand these things before you racial profile. Every black guy. LeBron James walks out of his house Or a lot of college basketball players When they're traveling And they get off their tour buses When they're going to play games They're in jeans and hoodies And they got on their Dr. Dre Beats headphones Exactly But if you take them 
and placed them in the same place of Trayvon Martin, would they look suspicious? Probably so. Yeah, exactly. Are they looking to harm anybody? No. Now, what's crazy is is that we understand this and we know this. Mm-hmm. We know this. That's what's crazy. That's what made hip hop hip hop. Because it was like, yo, this is rebellious. This is something that people don't like. And I get a chance to express myself and I can be me. And for years, people created or or tried to entwine hip hop with violence. When violence was here before hip hop was created, there's violence in movies. So if you're smart enough to understand, you know that hip hop has nothing to do with violence. But if they can portray that and give you that thought, and that imagery Then You're gonna believe it I'm just tired of everybody Twisting it We can make it a race thing Yes Was Trayvon Martin Racial profile Was there a race imagery behind it Well for one we would have to be inside Of George Zimmerman's mind So we can have our thoughts our assumptions and say yes here's a 17 year old kid what harm could he do to you now me i grew up in a different day and age you take an ass whooping like a man so if a 17 16 year old kid getting the best of me i just take an ass whooping i'm not gonna shoot him it's what it is i grew up around a different day and age you take an ass whooping like a man and if you ain't got a gun You don't need a gun Exactly Put your knuckles up And man up Get your ass whipped Go home And suck it up But Once again If black men Are portrayed And viewed As being hostile Gangsters Actually tough, all black people Because that's thugs. what they tried to paint Jantel as When she was on the stage She had an attitude Well She was Smart Once again Nasty. It's funny how the tables turn The people that were shackled Beaten Slaves deprived of education, stripped from their history, their families, deprived of damn near 80 to 90 percent of their lives are those that who are hostile. Not the man that slaved them, beat them. Understand how cold you gotta be. You gotta be a cold mofo to say, I'm gonna shackle you, beat you, slave you, cut you up in your ancestry, rewrite history, and then when you're smart enough to read, say that you. You are the threat. You are the one that we should fear. If anything, black people should be afraid of white people. Right or wrong? Native Americans should be afraid of white people. Right? But at some point, we in 2013. You don't have to be afraid of nobody. You know why? Because there are laws created. And it takes you to go read and understand the laws that protect you. It takes you to go get educated. It takes you to not carry a gun and not do black on black crime, white on white crime, Native American on crime, uh, 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 whatever race you are. It takes you to change your culture. It takes you to say, you know what, enough. Let me go school my young brothers and sisters. If I'm sitting on 15, 20 million, 30 million, let me go open up some workshops. Let me employ and and teach my young brothers and sisters to show them that, listen, the same way you running a a drug enterprise trying to make money, you can take them same smarts and run a legitimate business and make twice as much. So as much as we mad at Zimmerman, let's get mad at the brothers and sisters that's sitting on 50, 60 million that we watch on TV, making 150 million, bragging on their big ass houses, but don't want to put together no workshops, don't want to put no jobs out here, don't want to come back and school guys to say, listen, enough is enough. I'm not going to hire you in my videos to wear hoodies. I'm not going to hire my sisters in my videos to look like tack heads and hoes. I'm going to hire all the girls that's in college. I'm going to hire the girls that's so working class. I'm going to hire the brothers that's, that's out here that's focused on their grind. And guess what? Guys are stop looking like thugs. Guys are stop acting like they got to be tough. Guys only do that because they think it's cool. Period. Come on, man. I'm tired of guys being fake. Let's be keep it real from the hood, man. Church. I mean, that's true. I agree 100%. But, you know, my prayers do go out to Trayvon's mom and his whole entire family. Because that's not, that's not easy, especially being a mother. Of course, you want some kind of justice, you know, on the person who murdered your son. But I just hope, you know, 
prayer goes out to the mother and the father. Yeah. And the whole family. I'm just, hey, look, I'm just keeping it real. The reason guys uh, uh, look up to drug dealers on the, on the corner is because them the first guys they see get Benz, Benzes and Range Rovers and they, they see their moms money. and dads work nine to five and they don't get those things. Why? Because they was deprived of education, de- deprived on how to get ahead. Of- no, we have to teach one another. That's true. Let's stop holding each other against our faults. We all at the bottom of the barrel trying to get ahead. We trying to climb up out, and we got to stop climbing on top of each other to get out the barrel. Look, we're we going to get into this little scrappy song, Trayvon Martin. We're going to come back with more, man. It's the Good Time Show. Don't go nowhere. Don't touch your dials. We got more to come. Yeah, B. Those were the words in that grown man's mouth as he followed in the dark a 17-year-old boy who he didn't know. And excuse my language, but those were his words, not mine. Can't just kill him up for no reason to get away with it, shout him. Gotta have some justice. Was it street justice? Illegal justice. I'm straight for a money. 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 In the hood, I can walk anywhere I want. Don't shoot me. I can do anything I want. I'm straight for a money. 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 In the hood, I can walk anywhere I want. Don't shoot me. I can do anything I want. I'm sick and I'm nauseous. This is obnoxious, even though that is obvious How they really come off We was reaching for freedom, now we seeking out justice Then they get away with it, like they paid off the judges Mom and dad crying, sad that their son died His killers on TV, telling these foolish lies Ironic gets advertised, I bomb it on genocide They taking away fresh lies, gotta cover my daughter's eyes And visually, repeatedly, I feel like they keep beating me It's 1950. So vividly, I'm losing my identity. The world is in the crisis. Gotta walk with he who's stricken I'm straight me. For a money. I'm straight 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 for a money. In the hood, I can walk anywhere I want. Don't shoot me. I can do anything I want. I'm straight for a money. 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 So why did he shoot me? It went from innocent living Them blows were given I don't know how he was driven To the point of no feeling See, I don't play with folk chilling So why you come follow me? It's self-defense Ain't nobody harming me Black and starving So you call us retarded Now we building the skills Like Malcolm and Martin We don't listen to our sharp none I'ma be the starter You talking about a circus We do this for a purpose The world is filled with cluttery People speaking utterly I'm about to bail on And don't care about who comes I'm straight for a money 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 In the hood I can walk anywhere I want Don't shoot me I can do anything I want I'm straight for a money 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 In the hood that pistol into Trayvon Martin's chest and pulled the trigger. And then, as the smoke and the smell of that fatal gunshot rose into a rainy Sunday Sanford night, Trayvon Martin, 21 days removed from his 16th year, was face down in wet grass, laboring his final breath all right y'all we are back on a good time show we are back we are back oh every time i hear that it just makes me cry it breaks my little heart breaks my little heart it's so sad it's so sad yeah but i mean you know like like you said you made a great point you know people are killing people every single day it's not 
the color or it's not the race that's the issue. It's violence, period. People need to stop resolving to violence. Violence is not always the key and it's not always the best solution. The best way to work something out is to talk it out. George Zimmerman could have easily worked that out, calling 911, staying in his car, minding his business. He didn't have to pursue, he didn't have to bring out the gun. But that's with anything in this world. You don't have to resolve to violence as the as the key. Like, do something else. Call 911. If you feel unsafe, walk away. Call 911. That's mm-hmm. your best bet. Don't do something. If you're afraid, why would you go towards it? That's like me. If I'm afraid of bees, why would I go running at the bee? No, I'm going to run the opposite way of the bee. Like, that's just dumb. So we got to learn how to walk away. And as black people, we have to learn how to stop putting each and every one down and learn how to help each other and stop being so jealous of everybody. I could, I mean, that's with anything. I have, you know, family members. I can go to family and be like, hey, check this out. They're like, no, I'm not doing that. But then if somebody else comes and be like, hey, look at this, they be like, oh, okay. Like, why? We need to learn how to stick together and support each other and move in one direction because, no, if, I'm done with it. I'm I'm not even gonna go there because it doesn't even matter. So I'm just done. Hey, well, <laughs> listen, my just prayers do it. go out to Trayvon's uh, family. Yes, um, and his mommy and his and, daddy. And um, you know, I I just really want people to learn, and I want all race to learn. You know, um, at the end of the day, that until we start to respect and understand and value one another one another's lives. Uh, because everybody wants the best for their kids. Everyone wants the best out of, their, out of their life. People under bad circumstances are placed to do things that may not be just to another person. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean the fate of that person's heart. Understand what I just said, people. Just because someone do something wrong doesn't mean that's the fate of their heart. They might be in a bad position, a bad place, a bad state of mind. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So... I want everybody to look at this situation um, and the situation that has happened in the past. You know, it's a it's a thousand Trayvon Martins, but it's only one that makes it to the TV. That's true. You know, there's a lot of young ladies that's being taken advantage of, whether it's rape, whether it's um, employed and impicted in the wrong way. Uh, it's a lot of young males that's being raped and robbed and killed in the entertainment business and the... Uh, professional athletic business um, and life and work period you understand what I'm saying it's a lot of people that's working right now that's trying to get ahead and that doesn't mean that they're bad people or that doesn't mean that they're low lives or they're they choose to be poor you have to be taught how to get ahead you know if you're never taught the proper way of investments then you don't know how to invest if you're not taught the proper way the proper way to get a career then you're only going to chase a job if you're not taught the proper way to get the right education to gain knowledge that's going to see you can get knowledge and things that means nothing in this world and then you have those that teach you the proper steps of the right knowledge and the right keys to get ahead in this world so we get off and we don't understand that the same way that a young male is taught to work a pistol load a gun cook drugs make drugs sell drugs is the same time it takes to teach him how to fill out a financial aid form how to to do homework how to tie a tie how to get ahead in the proper ways in life so why is it easier for a kid to do mess ups and f ups and wrongs than it is for him to do right because he doesn't have anyone teaching him how to do right Uh, well i beg to differ because from where I grew up at I knew a lot of drug dealers But I didn't know no guys That had the planes To fly the stuff over here I almost cursed <laughs> But I didn't know the guys That flew the stuff over here I knew a lot of guys That did this and did that But I don't know no guys That made guns That manufacture bullets You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then when they get in trouble Who they call a lawyer? See so they was never taught To be a lawyer Or a judge Or a cop they was never taught to be a CEO. They saw that from TV. You know what make young guys want to be a CEO? Because they watch MTV Cribs and they say, oh my God, he got a big crib. I want to be that. They see football players and athletes brag about their monies and they, they luxurious lives when they don't even know that. And I'm and I'm proud that Fabusi knew that a plastic, a plastic surgeon made 300 and something 30,000 a year. 
because a lot of people think the only way you can make large amounts of money or live a successful life or be happy in life is if you are an entertainer or an athlete or, which is so not true and or a drug dealer or you do this or you do that and that's not true and you know me, me and you talked about that um a couple i think it was like last week we were just saying how some people will take kibbles and bits just to be on TV. Yep. Master P said that. He said a lot of guys come to him and say, I don't even want any money. I just want to be famous. Can you get me on TV? And you would not believe. Like, you you would rather take. We were talking about American Idol, too. You know, they will get paid, you know, cheap just to be put on TV, just to get that fame stardom instead of going somewhere and actually working and getting the money that you deserve for the talents that you have, which is just baffling to me i mean i'm just saying but right. so I, you know and once again i don't want people to take our words or anything out of context out of context is that the right format i'm yeah, saying that context okay um i am truly saddened for trayvon martin um for his parents because i could not imagine um a young individual with a what he had a, a, a iced tea Ice tea and some Skittles. Um, he goes to a store and he comes home. He doesn't come home. I could not imagine that. That is a parent's worst fear. Mm -hmm. That is a friend's worst fear. That is a loved one's worst fear. It is. Um, but all I ask is everybody to please take a look at oneself. Look at the man in the mirror. Let's be careful on how we keep betraying each other. We don't have to be gangsters on TV. We don't have to look like thugs to make money. You know, um, I love when I look at, you know, how Jay has grew. And whether you like him or you dislike him, I like to see men come from the hood and say, hey, you got to throw a tux on. You got to cut some guys out of your life that don't want to grow up and do better. Now, Jay could have stayed around a lot of guys. But can we name any of the guys that he left? No. This is not a diss to any of them. We have to grow up. And we got to teach the next generation better. I've made enough mistakes. For the generation that I can teach. Shall not make the mistakes that I made. Period. That's what should define you as a man. That look. I made my wrongs. But I'm not going to allow the next generation to make those wrongs that come through my path that I meet, that I can teach and school. School these guys how to own their publishings, they masters, create their businesses. Quit getting a Instead check. Of trying to I dip dislike, up. and I'm not throwing no dishes out there to nobody, but I just don't like individuals that are selfish, that make their monies and say, hey, I'm going to get they, mine. You figure out how to get yours. They better learn anyway. Come on. Like, really? Because if our ancestors and everyone done that, where would we be right now? Nowhere. Thank you. So, you know. Nowhere. I, I just really want everybody to take this. You know, it's a, it's a truly sad situation. And, it is. Um, we was looking for justice and we have to learn how to find justice. We got to get educated. We got to educate one another, school one another, help one another. Let's stop killing one another. And that's all racist. You know, let's get to the point where we're not about race no more, where we are about getting to the solution. Mm -hmm. so you know, respecting right. and one and learning one another, loving one another, saying, you know what? I don't know you. And all I know of you is stereotypes and rumors. How about you and I sit down and have lunch and let me, you know, school me. Tell me what School me and let me know about let your race know. And I'll Tell let you know about my race That's what we gotta get to Agreed We gotta get to the point where we can sit down And have this conversation We can have this, this dialect We can have this breakdown Where we can stop throwing darts At one another We can stop pointing the finger and the blame Well you this, well you that Well y'all ain't do this, well y'all ain't do that Well man if if you would have, if y'all would have not held us back, we could have been this. Okay. Once again, I keep saying this. It's 2013. It doesn't cost you to get a library card. You can actually walk into any library around the world, walk in and sit down and just start reading books. That's true. If you a thug and you ain't never had an ID and your name ain't in the system, guess what? I tell you what you can do. You can walk into a library and start reading. No. Figure out what it is you want to do with your life. 
And then what you do is research promo and lawyers. Go find you some lawyers that is in college. They're, they're going to school for law and they're trying to get their first case. And ask them to take your first case and say, listen, I made a few wrongs. I don't know where I sit with the law, where my records sit. But I just need to know what I need to do to get myself together. Is that embarrassing? Probably so. Does that make you a wimp, a sucker? Does that make you like, oh man, you soft? No, that makes you a person that want to do better. So that individual will walk you through the steps to say, well, you know, you missed this court date or you got this on you or you got this. And then you start steps to move forward in your life. If you don't know what you want to be, start reading a book. Start going to different seminars, workshops. I know it's not that many out there. I agree. I've been in that boat before where you don't know what the hell you want to do with your life. You've been doing one thing for so long, you don't know how to transition. Pick up books and start reading. Mm -hmm. Get some documentaries. That's it. It's the method. It's just that simple. You ain't going to find all that knowledge on the internet. You're not, B. Everything on the internet is not going to help you. Some things that's in books that's just not going to be on the internet. It's just what it is. Period. Those methods and those breakdowns that was put together to make this world make money, move around, and get to the next level was created before the internet was. So everything is not scanned and put on the internet. I'm sorry to break that news to you. And if it is, it's kind of botched up and edited and... Change. And you don't know if it's true or not. That is true. So, I mean, listen, you got to start from somewhere. And women, listen, it starts with y'all. You know, y'all have to sit down and really start saying, listen, we don't have to be, put, you know, uh, viewed in, in movies and videos and certain things as hoes. Stop taking them roles. Well, how am I going to eat? Listen, put your faith in God. If you're going to pray, don't worry. It's the oldest method and the oldest thing in the world. And, 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 and I know it's not easy, but listen. Stick to your guns. You know, I, I watched Will I Will I Am um, um, documentary pop, last night. Pop innovator. Yeah, last night on E. Smart guy, very he smart is. guy, and I like the I fact that it. he said when his young niece is in school, and he said the fact that a cell phone in the next ten to twenty years will be more advanced than his niece. He said he knew he had to get involved. He said the fact that cell phones and technology is advancing better than our youth, that means our school systems are, are failing so us. Are so backdated, beyond backdated. When I can meet a 14, 15 year old kid and he's talking about guns and drugs and all these type of things, that is a problem. When he should be talking about college, school. his career, um, and once again, go to college for things that's going to be around for 10 to 15, 20, 30 years. Do your research. Just don't go to college to get a college degree. Find out where this world is evolving to. You know, people, I'm in college. What you going to college for? I'm going to college. Well, yeah, you journalism. Yeah, okay. You know blogs that came out, right? So, uh, Were you all right? Yeah. So, and I'm not knocking that feel. What I'm saying is make sure you do your research and you understand what you're going to school for. And it's going to be relevant and it's going to hold weight. So those that was in school in the 90s, if they were constantly researching and constantly being up on the speed, they saw this wave of technology coming. So those that was doing carburetors, they knew fuel injectors and certain things was coming. You know, those that was involved, they knew fuel efficiencies and certain things was coming. But if you are totally blitz and you don't want to educate yourself, then you're still thinking back in the 80s and the 90s and you can't. It's what it is. So, you know, I just, you know, I don't want people to walk away feeling like, you know, the Good Time Show um, is not understanding or we're not being open minded. We're very open minded and our hearts is for Trayvon Martin. But at the same time, we cannot sit around here and keep pointing the finger. We have to point the finger at one another and say, listen, when are we going to get wiser? When are we going to better one another? And when are we going to get smarter? Educate. Education is the key. Laws is here to protect you. If you learn the laws, they work for you. I can't say it any better. Them. I can't say it any better. I don't know how to break it down any better. If you learn the laws, the laws are here to protect you. I said that. I said revenge. If you want revenge, go to school, get a better education, and raise the standards for of African Americans. All race. 
Once again, we got to get away from the racist card. I'm, I mean, I'm not talking so much about... I'm just saying because that's that's who I'm speaking to and that's who I'm speaking from because that's what I am. So I'm, I'm speaking to my youth of my race. We all have to get a better education and stop just thinking, oh, I'm 16 years old, I can drop out, get my GED, and then I can do something. No, finish school. Like, what are you dropping out for? You don't have anything to do. You don't have no worries. Go to school. Yes. Do what you got to do. I'm no, just no, Know this. All race are affected because not every race applaud slavery. Not every race is racist. So we have to understand that we can't allow a few bad apples, a few ignorant people to dictate what we think about an Everybody. entire race. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's what we got to stop doing. One or two individuals, a few hundred does not dictate an entire race. We have to accept that, acknowledge that, and understand that. Mm -hmm. I agree. Period. Because if we do that, then we're no better than what Zimmerman or anyone else that racial profiles does. We're putting one individual in the same boat as everyone else. We have to stop doing that. If everybody just took a look at themselves and said, what am I doing to make this world better? This would be a better place. So we hope. No, it would. Change doesn't start with the next person. It starts with yourself. Of course. I'm just saying. It's an old philosophy. I'm an old school cat. I Michael read. Jackson even says Change that. doesn't start with the next person. It starts with yourself. Michael Jackson said, look at the man in the mirror. Hey. So listen, y'all know what I tell y'all every day. Keep God first. Keep love and forgiveness in your heart. Be on the lookout for those haters. Because they are on the prowl. All prayers. And please do not get it twisted. I don't want to see any young man leave this world. We lost someone that was 31 years of age, someone that was 17 years of age, and we lost, lost a lot of others that we went through obituaries. Mm -hmm. Please, in somehow, some shape, way, or form, let's talk to one another and stop killing one another. Please. I'm your man, Please. Jada Great. And I am the princess of all. Until tomorrow, ladies, stay pretty. Deuces. Mwah. Get up. Get up.